everybody welcome back to another case break today we are doing the brand new panini prism which just came out uh friday so it's only been out there for this weekend we're gonna open this up tonight i've got three cases worth to do and there are 12 packs per hobby case and we've divided this break into half boxes so each spot will represent six random packs out of each of these so uh, as everybody comes in, happy Father's Day to all of you. There's Pete. Pete Pete wishes everybody happy Father's Day. Jab says, Pete, Pete, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And to all of you dads out there, I uh, hope you had a great day, and I hope you have a great rest of your day as well. Austin Farmer, how's it going, man? Everybody, I hope you guys have uh, a great uh, – or had a great weekend. And let's get started as – uh, the room is already filling up. So Camille and Manuel are going to split up this first box. Camille's going to get three packs. Manuel's going to get uh, or six packs and six packs. Uh, Camille's got spot number three. If you're wondering why that's spot number three, we did spot number one and two in the preview video. Hopefully the uh, boxes we open tonight will be a little bit more reliable than the preview video. I felt pretty bad for Ernie in that preview video. Um, he was shorted an autograph. Uh, we are supposed to get three autographs per box, but it does say on average. So there we go. Mandy B says, Happy Father's Day, Eric. Hope you had a great day, Mandy. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Had a fantastic day with the kiddos today. Um, really, really fun day indeed. And uh, hopefully all of you guys got to have um, a good time with your loved ones wherever you are. Mandy, I really appreciate that. Camille's going to get the first six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then Manuel's going to get the next six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six and six. LA Collection is here. And a mess of things says, need votes on my which one Wednesday for this week. So check out a mess of things, everybody, and help him decide which uh, direction he should go for which one Wednesday. There's Daddy Daughter with the link. All right, so here we go. I guess these packs are a little bit thicker, so I'll probably uh, just break them like three packs at a time for the time being. We'll look through them. Camille is up first. Camille's usually in here. Batting leadoff today, Camille. Thank you very much for the support. And here are your cards. We've got Juan Soto leading things off. There's a Dustin May rookie card, and there's going to be a lot of... Um, parallels in this for sure last draft says hats off to panini they really put together another attractive product yeah people love the uh prism because of all these parallels there you see a mitch garver just an orange prism pete alonso orange prism nothing crazy there, not numbered aj puck rookie card is a nice one we got a wander franco there oh chris welcome to the live stream thank you very much for checking in we do uh we've got a lot of live streams this week everybody hey camille how's it going camille with a ten dollar super chat thank you very much camille uh i really appreciate that i hope you get something good here tonight and caleb says first break for me tonight good luck everybody caleb i hope you have some beginner's luck thank you very much for your support and anthony says jab's gonna be pulling fire for the dads tonight anthony thank you very much i hope we can pull some fire we're gonna see anthony in here um, a little bit later on, and uh, hopefully we get some good stuff for him. There's a Bryce Harper. It's out of 100, so we'll get that one sleeved up. Caleb Smith, no number on the back of that. I'm going to have to, by the end of the break, I'll know which ones are numbered and which ones aren't for these colored parallels. Some are, some aren't. I always like to get the numbered cards in a sleeve at least. There's A. Eugenio Suarez, Corey Kluber. Uh, happy Father's Day to you, Junior Baseball Fanatic, Adrian Moore, John, Dallas Keuchel. Here comes some color. We have an Ethan Small from the Brewers. That one is numbered out of 10. Very nice low number there. 9 of 10 with the, uh, I don't know if that would be considered the yellow or gold top of the class. Very, very nice one. Mitchell says that he's going to be a dad in October. Do you celebrate Father's Day? Heck yeah. Um, in my eyes, you're an, you are a father. Jorge Soler, you're an expecting father. That's just uh, just the same, you know. Warming in the pen, Tarek Skubal. And so your first three packs, Camille, don't produce an auto. So let's see if your next three do. Bigfoot says, how much per spot for 2011 Tops Update? This Thursday, 7.27 p.m. Tops Update. Um, it is $99 per spot. And um, we still have a few spots left to go. I think we're currently at the in the 90s. Uh, 90 out of 124 spots filled. Let's see what Camille can find in her... Second half here, we have a nice Jake Fraley from the Mariners. 
Check out the back of that one out of 149. Travis Pack Pools is here. It says, I'm back at work and had to miss a lot of your breaks because of it. What's the best hit so far today? Travis Pack Pools. Thank you very much, man. Uh, Trav, you haven't missed any big hits yet. I guess the best card we pulled was out of 10. Here's our literally first autograph. <clears throat> it's Bruce Star Gratterall from the Dodgers there. I hope you guys will check out Travis Pack Pools. This one's out of 75. Bruce Star Gratterall. Uh, his name was all in the trade. Um, reports this offseason getting traded back and forth between the Twins, Red Sox, and Dodgers and those Mookie Betts deals and rework deals. So that's our first one. Ryan says, how many cases are we breaking? We have a grand total of um, three cases that we're going to do. There's Tyrone Taylor. I hope you guys will check out Trav's pack pools. Trav, I got your uh, stuff that I'm going to be sending out after I get this batch of uh, this round of Patreon stuff out in the mail. Mitchell says, what did Heather get you for Father's Day? There's your Don Alvarez rookie card. That is a nice one. Got to get that one sleeved up. Uh, there's an Adrian Moore, John. Let's check out the back. Actually, you got me an awesome book. Uh, like a, it's almost like it's like a yearbook with all these pictures of me and my kids uh, professionally printed up um, and some other cool stuff, including a brand new wallet, which I really needed because I've had my wallet for probably about 15 to 20 years, and it is basically in tatters. There's Brennan McKay and Max Scherzer's last one. So Camille got one hit. It's Bruce Star Gratterall. And a couple of nice prisms right there. Camille, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. I will get these passed over to Imaginary Heather, who's work, <laughs> working from home tonight. we got a lot of breaks, so she's not going to be able to be here every single night. Lots of breaks this week. We have Big League tomorrow. We've got cl uh, Clearly Authentic on Wednesday. And then there's the Big Daddy of them all, 2011 Tops Update on Thursday. And then Friday again, there's another break. Series 2 is coming out. So, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, this is might be the record for most uh, live streams that we've done. You don't have the George Costanza wallet. I, with all the receipts, KS Reds fan, I actually have a... Uh, I guess it is sort of reminiscent of the George Costanza wallet with every receipt that he ever had, basically, hanging out of there. It's pretty bad, so I'm glad that Heather got me a new wallet so that I could... Uh, Start f fresh. Manuel's up right now. Let's see what we can find. Joey Votto, Michael Baez, there's Stalin Castro. We may have a redemption. No, it's not a redemption. I saw a little bit of white up there. It is going to be a hit. It's a Dylan Cease, a nice auto right there. Dylan Cease is the second of the autographs. There's going to be three autos in this box. Hopefully, Dylan Cease is a nice one right there. Let's check out what we have the rest of the way for Manuel. Tommy's Breaks, how's it going? Daniel, how's it going? We have Jack Flaherty. This one's going to be numbered out of 175. We've got a couple parallels here. None of these are going to be numbered. Uh, there's the backs of them. They're just your typical prism card. Still pretty cool, though. Then we have a Juan Soto um, scorching prism card. Fernando Tatis Jr. Last Drops Baseball says, Tariq Scooball, who you just pulled earlier, has rocketed up the Tigers prospect list. TJ at um, the University of Seattle. He is now a top five prospect for the Tigers. So Last Drops Baseball, Tariq Scooball. Was that the one that I got out of uh, 10, 9 of 10? Possibly. That is a good one. Thank you for the inside information there. I, I always... I'm a little bit rusty on some of my prospect lists, especially if they're not, like, number one on the list. Nice Pete Alonso blue. That one's not going to be numbered. <clears throat> uh, Dave, how, how is it going? Sean says, awesome. First live show. Thank you very much for being here. There's a nice Gavin Lux. And it looks like the final autograph is going to be from these last three packs. Let's see what we have here. What are you going to uh, do for Tops Update? What are they going to do for Tops Update? I'm not exactly sure yet this year. Joe's Card Corral. How's it going, man? Happy Sunday to you as well. Hopefully you got to see your dad today. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Next pack. Autograph should be coming up in this for Manuel to join his Dylan C's. There is a nice Trace Barrera. This one is going to be numbered out of 80. Check out that crazy front. Shy City Pools here. He says, first and foremost, I want to wish you a happy Father's Day, Jabs. And to all the card collecting dads out there, may you all be blessed. Good luck tonight, everyone. Shy City Pools, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Shy City Pools. And let's check out the hit of the box right now. We have Bo Bichette Autograph as the third hit. 
Congratulations, Manuel. A nice, uh, colorful prism card. And it is numbered out of 25. Four of 25. A big hit right there from our first box, Bo Bichette. I hope you guys will check out Shy City Pools. Uh, thank you for the Father's Day wishes, Shy City. And that is our first big hit of the day, Bo Bichette. Love that card. Um, really, really nice one for Manuel. Big bucks on that one. Maybe, probably, if I'm guessing, $200 card right there. I don't think Paninis are quite as high as tops. If you're looking at, um, you know, like an out of 25 orange, like tops, uh, finest auto compared to this. Probably a little bit less, but still a really, really great card right there. Now, let's check out the rest of um, Manuel's cards. Uh, Tyson says, do I think MLB will have a season? I sure hope they will. Um, they better. There's Dustin May, rookie card, Chris Paddock, Lorenzo Kane. We've got J.D. Davis from the Mets. J.T. Real Muta, Lourdes Gurriel, and Caleb Smith. A bunch of color right there. There's only one of them numbered, and it's going to be J.D. Davis out of 10. There's like 18 different parallels, so it's kind of tough to keep up on what's numbered and what's not. Ollie Moon Collectible says, Happy Father's Day, all. Ollie Moon Collectibles, thank you very much. There's Aristides Aquino, rookie card. I hope you guys will check out Ollie Moon Collectibles. And uh, a very happy Father's Day to everybody here right now uh, that is a father out there. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate that, man. Well, congratulations on your Beau Bichette. And box number one is in the books. And it was a nice one with the Bichette rookie auto in there out of 25. Uh, Trey says, can you do a budget buy your SCS? Not a bad idea. I someone floated that idea last live stream and i really like that idea there's daddy daughter with ollie moon collectibles if you'd like to check him out tom says do i have to sign for next patreon package uh tom not sure if you have something super valuable in there uh sometimes i will have that uh, be signed for but i'll have to check it out and um, see exactly what you have coming to you i haven't done the hundred dollar tiers yet those will be early this coming week so in our next box we have philip and ramon splitting this one up land's not yet been extremely busy Keith uh, says, hi, Heather. Happy Father's Day to you. Keith, thank you very much. Jacob says, I'm just noticing my brother's name is there. Can you shout him out? Yes. Shout out to your brother, Caleb. I have sent all the $50 tiers out. Unless you just joined recently within the past week, then uh, you'll have to just wait. I'll get back and get your stuff out if you are a newer person. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so let's see what we can find for Ramon and Philip. Philip, this is yours over here. So let's see what we could find now. Tyson, thank you very much for signing up. And Alan K, happy Father's Day to you too. Hopefully you had a great Sunday. Me and my kids went for a nice hike today at one of our old uh, stomping grounds that we would always go to. Been going there since they were little babies. And uh, had a nice hike to a waterfall. Hits only. Thank you very much, man. Hits only with the 99 cents super chat. Uh, hits only now at 300 subscribers, I believe. Make sure you check them out. And Dirk Remington says, Happy Father's Day, all. Dirk, thank you very much. And happy Father's Day to you as well. And we've got a hit coming up. Hope you can check out Dirk's channel. It's going to be Adrian Moore, John. That's going to be the auto right there. So the auto comes out of, what is this, the first pack this time? Daddy Daughter's got the link right there if you'd like to check out Hits Only and Dirk. Daddy Daughter, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate that. You'll be seeing Daddy Daughter, I believe, in 2011 Tops Update, I think. Um, and along with 120-some other folks. Here we go. Let's We got Logan uh, Webb. This is going to be numbered out of 99. And Alberto Mondese, not numbered. Panini could do me a favor and put the numbers on the front of these prism cards. It'd be nice, but they didn't. Uh, you have the Ronald Kidney Jr. auto coming from Diamond Kings. That's right. That is a nice one. Would you like me to have it signed for, or would you like me just to send it regularly? If you have package pirates out there, I could send it signature um, confirmation. There's a Bobby Witt Jr. Scott Kingery and Jordan Alvarez is the last one right there. So we'll get that one sleeved up because that's arguably the best rookie card. Shy City says, man, these cards look nice. Shy City, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Keith says, where's Heather? She is on her off day today. Uh, I saw her earlier. And um, she's not going to be here this evening, but she'll be here tomorrow. Leak Collectibles says, thanks so much, Jabs. Happy Father's Day. Hello, all Leak Collectibles. Thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Leak Collectibles. 
and hit them up. And I hope you have a happy Father's Day as well. So Philip already has a nice Adrian Moore, John. Let's see what else he can find in his pack. Mike G, how's it going? Happy Father's Day to you. There's Kirby Yates. That one's out of 100. And Fat M is here, says, excited for the Dustin Ackley chase on Thursday. <laughs> Dustin Ackley, the uh, former number one pick of the uh, Seattle Mariners. That's pretty funny. How about a Bubba Starling? It is numbered out of 10. Bubba Starling, he was picked in, I think, the 2011 draft. Number three overall and finally made the big leagues last year after a long journey through the minors. So two hits for Phillip. Is he going to take all three? We'll see. Thad, thank you very much for your support. I hope you guys can check him out and check us out at 7.27 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday as we search for Dustin Ackley's rookie card and Mike Trout as well. Uh, here's the rest of these cards. See if there's another auto in there. Looks like um, Philip is going to save the last auto for Ramon in the second half of the box. We've got Hanser Alberto. That's out of 149. Uh, Andrew says he loves the videos. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. There's a Yachty Molina, not numbered because they keep tricking me with all these different prism colors. And last one there is Jake Rogers. So, Philip, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Congrats on the two autos. And now it's time for Ramon. Let's see what we can find for Ramon in spot number six. Here's all of his packs. Costa Rica break says, I love the look of these cards. Happy Father's Day, everyone. These are pretty nice cards for sure. And Justin says, oh, nice. Just hopped on. I pulled the Jason Dominguez gold <laughs> one out of ten auto. That's a really nice pull right there. That's still big money. His cards have really kind of leveled off. And uh, gone down in value. I feel like you could probably get his base paper card for like five bucks now. And it used to be a $30 card uh, a couple weeks ago. But still, his autos are still up there. Let's see if we can find now Danny Duffy and Julio Tehran, Corbin Carroll. We've got a nice Mookie Betts numbers game card, AJ Puck, Sandy Alcantara. Keith can't wait for a diamond in and a first read Mike Trout. I can't wait. That'd be crazy. Uh, I really hope we can find that card. That's going to be really crazy. Um, I, I don't even know what it's worth. I'm going to have to start doing some research and see what the Diamond Anniversaries and Cognacs go for because um, those cards have just gone through the roof. There's a nice Trey Mancini and Brandon Woodruff. Mancini's not numbered. Neither is the Woodruff. We have Scorching Xander Bogarts. Jason says, Happy Father's Day, everyone. Happy Father's Day to you. As well, Sonny Gray and Fernando Tatis Jr. is the last one in Ramon's pack. Should have an autograph in here somewhere, Ramon. Let's see. We got Max Muncy right there. We got Danny Duffy right there. And last pack. Let's see what we've got coming up. Mookie Betts is on the back of that one. So sometimes you can see your autograph. I don't really know if I can quickly identify where it's at. We got a nice JD Davis. Here comes the auto. It's going to be Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy out of uh, that one's out of 99. Sean Murphy here is, is also out of 99. There it is, a blue. Very, very nice one. Happy Father's Day to you as well, Pack Rat. Thank you for tuning in. Sean Murphy rookie card auto is our last one. I know a mess of things would be happy with that one for sure, as he's a big A's fan. Michael Brantley, Christian, happy Father's Day to you. Had a great day. Um, hopefully all of you guys had a great day as well and got to see your dads or at least maybe talk to your dads or if your dad got to spend time with your kids there's Nolan Arenado just got here what did we miss well the first box had the big hit so far this is only our second box Bo Bichette out of 25 autograph how about this beautiful looking card right here a nice Mike Trout stargazing card that one is out of 60, 51 of 60. Beautiful looking card right there. AJ Puck, rookie card. Brent's Cards and Coins says, Hi, Eric. Happy Father's Day. Brent's Cards and Coins, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Brent's Cards and Coins. There's Daddy Daughter with the link. Thank you very much for sticking that up there. Also, make sure you check out Daddy Daughter's um, channel as well as he's helping out with all the links. Huge help to all the uh, other channels out there that are growing. So, Keith says the Mike Trout rookie card diamond anniversary is $4,500. Is that even a PSA card? Um, or is that just raw? I don't even want to know what a PSA goes for in that. Probably insane. Next box up, we've got Lucindy. Nolan, how's it going? And also Eric P. splitting this box. Box number seven and eight. Pull the next one down off the shelf here. All right, so... 
PSA 10 is a $10,000 card. It says, Doug, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Fibra says that according to Cardboard Collect Connection, there's over 13,000 different cards in the set. That's, yeah, that's all those different combinations because you have your like 300 base cards in this set. Shout out to you, Ethan. Thank you for being here. And each card has 18 variations. Um, I think a lot of people aren't going to go and complete the entire master set of Prism unless they are an extreme collector. But I do know that a lot of folks out there that have a favorite player might want to complete the rainbow, so to speak, and get um, one of each of the different parallels. All right, so let's divvy these up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I know when blaster boxes come out of prism? Usually with Panini for the past year or six months or whatever, it's been two weeks after the hobby. One, two, three, four, five, six, around there. For some reason... The Blasters have always been a little bit delayed. It's super delayed for 2020 Donruss when those came out in March. I feel like they were like three weeks later. All right, let's see what we can find now. Lucindy, spot number seven. You're up right now. Uh, Pete, I don't know. I hope that they could do that. That's how it used to be. We'll see what happens. It would be nice if Panini could get a license as well. Hey, there's Daddy Daughter says, want in a jabs break? Join his Patreon. Have access to all of them. Thank you very much. We're filling two right now. Tops Big League and also um, 2011 Tops Update. Still some spots for 2011 Tops Update. This break still has some spots too. Um, I always try to get multiple cases uh, so that everybody that is a Patreon member can have a shot and uh, doesn't get locked out. And then uh, if we have extra boxes left over, we can do another break down the road with them or I can break them open and send those packs off to folks. That, uh, Joe's Cards and Toys says, Happy Father's Day, Eric, and all dads in our hobby. Joe's Cards and Toys, thank you very much. Happy Father's Day to you as well. There's a nice Vladdy Guerrero out of 149. Hope you guys will check out Joe's channel right there um, and give him some support. There's Daddy Daughter with the link. Let's get these cards turned around and see what we can find. Freddie Freeman, your Don Alvarez rookie card. Got to get that one in a sleeve. David said, no spoilers, please. But how was the Topps Pro debut box you opened? I like Topps Pro debut uh, just because you get four hits for um, like 80 to 90 bucks. I think the going rate is like somewhere in there on uh, the big sites, which is not too bad. Two autos, two relics, I'll tell you that much. You'll have to check it out. It's not that long of a video. Stash says, good to see you. How's it going, Stash? Thank you very much for checking us out. What's been the best card so far? We're only halfway through our third box, but the best card so far is Bo Bichette out of 25, autograph. And Brent says, I'm seeing the Bowman prices are dropping. Yeah, definitely. Like I mentioned, the Jason Dominguez was driving that release, and now that that card is, the bottom's kind of fallen out. Uh, of that uh, market, the Dominguez market, the uh, boxes are going down. Glenn, how's it going? Father's Day was great today. Had a great day. There's Matt Thice auto for Lucindy. Congrats on finding the one of the three autos there. To go through the rest of these. It's a nice Ken Giles closer for the Blue Jays. How does Patreon work? It's basically just a fan page to support your favorite creators out there. And on mine, I sell all my breaks. To sign up for a break, I'll put a posting up that says sign ups. And then I'll put the title and then put the whole all the information there, like the checklist and everything. And then all I have to do is leave your PayPal email address as a comment, and I will send you an invoice. We have a nice stargazing card of Anthony Rizzo out of 75 on the back. Stargazing Max Scherzer not numbered. I feel like with Prism, we got I have to keep flipping these over to see if they are numbered or not. So, Lucindy, thank you very much. Congrats on hitting the Matt Feiss auto. As we move on now to spot number eight which is for Eric P. Best of luck to you, Eric P. Move your packs back on screen. All right, let's see what we can find right now. Gilbert bought his uh, Big League Hobby Box for 42 bucks from Steel City. I checked them out. Um, I think they were 43 for me after tax and shipping on Big League. Um... <laughs> Sin City says, do you remember when I asked you to adopt me? I think, I think I vaguely remember that, but I didn't think you were serious, so sorry if I dismissed it too quickly. Equine says, good luck, Eric P. Yes, Eric, here we go. Here's your cards. Let's see what we can find. Hey, another Bobachette. So it is a very heavy Bobachette case. 
The first one was out of 25, and this is the second one. So the Bobochet counter is now at two. That's a lot better when Bobochet is leading your autograph counter instead of a guy like uh, Jordan Yamamoto or Trent Grissom or who else was up there in the last break? I can't remember. Uh, nice Bobochet auto. Abraham Toro, we've been seeing a lot of his autos as well in 2020 so far. Very, very nice. Real pain says, I just paid. Will I be in this in this break right here? Real pain, if you just paid because you had an outstanding invoice, I did have a spot reserved for you, so I will put you in there. I'll just have to check my PayPal at the end of the break, and then if you did pay, we'll get you in at the very end. Kevin Biggio, nice out of 50 prism right there. Get that one sleeved up to go along with the Beau Bichette. And, Eric, you also know that you're going to have or you, I don't want to say you're going, but you might have another autograph in there since they did short us an auto out of our first box of this case. I'm a little bit shy about saying you're definitely going to get an autograph. Ryder says, I love you and your content. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the kind words. There's Air C.D. Aquino and Garrett Cole is the last one. All right, Eric, here we go. Our next box, our next, not box, but our next Three, real pain. I already answered your question. If you did pay, you will be in here for tonight. Baseball cards says, Happy Father's Day. How's the break going? Pretty good baseball cards, 18. We've pulled two Beau Bichette autos out of three boxes. And Nick Solak, here comes the next hit. It is going to be Sixto Sanchez. The Solak is out of 10, by the way. Eight out of 10. Nice hit right there. Sixto Sanchez autograph. Nice one. Tom says, Did you do anything special today? Uh, we played some wiffle ball. Me and the kiddos and Heather played some wiffle ball. And then um, we went on a hike to a waterfall that the kids all... We've probably been there a hundred times. Nice Paul Goldschmidt. This one faked me out. Thought that one would surely be numbered. Nice. I don't even know what you'd call that one. Kind of like a tiger skin relic right there. Uh, that'd be really cool if that was a Detroit Tigers card. It's because of the background. Check out the rest of these. You already got the both autographs. A nice Gavin Lux blue. That one's not numbered, but we'll still get it sleeved up along with the Matt Chapman. Happy Father's Day to you, Jason. Thank you very much for being here. We've got Victor Robles, Morjaw, Mike Trout, and Brian Reynolds is the last one. So Eric with a Beau Bichette autograph. Congratulations on that one. We'll get that one sleeved up. Keith says a Mike Trout Diamond Anniversary is $6,600 on eBay. Well, I sure hope that we can find one of those. Fingers crossed that we do. Um, I want to find at least one trout on Thursday, and uh, maybe we can get a little bit greedy and try to get a parallel of that card. Uh, I know that I'm definitely hoping that we can find a cognac or even another gold. We already found the gold before. <clears throat> maybe we'll find another one. Next up, Alan Kay's got a full box coming his way. Yes, the Devers giveaway is all set up, ready to go. We'll do that at the end of the break. Rip card. Raphael Devers auto from Finest. All right, so spots 9 and 10. Alan Kay's got this entire box. So don't need to worry about counting out 6 and 6 or anything like that. I will still break them three packs at a time just because that's very manageable. And um, I don't know, I kind of like ripping in stacks. Some more new releases coming out. How much are these boxes? They're $195 before tax and before shipping. It's still City Collectibles and Blowout Cards. I charged $199, free shipping uh, for these. Here we go. Did I Do I think we'll get any actual baseball games this year? Asked David. We sure better. I know that I'll be seeing Little League games at least, so that's something. At least I will be seeing baseball. Can't wait for those. There's Shohei Otani Green. That one is numbered out of 125, 67 to 125. Michael Brantley. Well, there's good old Tariq Skubal. Again, we were talking about him on the stream a little bit earlier. Wilson Contreras, Travis Dermott. Dylan Cease, rookie card, Pete Alonso. Here's Drew Waters now on deck. That one's not numbered. We also have Austin Meadows, one of my favorites. Battle Rats with some uh, bad prognostications right there. It says, no sports at all this year. Too many athletes are testing positive, especially in college. Yeah, there was uh, some MLB prospects and players in some camps that did test positive, and those camps are now all shut down. It's 
It's not looking good, but fingers crossed. Shoya Otani out of 175. And from the Phillies, we have Adam Hazley. So you Phillies fans definitely like Hazley and the pro penmanship. Very, very nice. Have I filmed this product in retail yet? Well, no, I haven't. They don't stock the shelves at Walmarts around me ever. Uh, there's Aristides Aquino. But I do have to get out to Walmart soon to do my June $100 shopping spree video. I hope I don't pick up like... Um, a whole bunch of 2019 top sticker boxes because they don't have anything except that. We'll see. If I go to a Walmart and that's all they have, I'll just be like, eh, I'll just try another location until I find some actual cards. But uh, that one's coming up because I do uh, do one of those per month, one at Target and one uh, at Walmart. I already did the Target one, had some very good success finding a bunch of Bowman. Last Routes Baseball says all the baseball you want from Japan. That's right, Last Routes Baseball. And he's got you covered if you check out his channel. He's uh, an expert on um, the Japanese League. Nice Anthony Rendon. Last drops, thank you very much for your support. There's Syndergaard, Rendon, Bellinger. What else do we have in Allen's box? He already found one autograph. It was the Hazy card. Sky High Break says, if it's Finest versus Prism, what do I buy? Well, that's a good question. They're both similar in price. Prism's a little bit more. Uh, Sean Murphy, me... After seeing those Hall of Fame autos come out of the prison break or the uh, finest break, I don't know if you saw that break, but there was some really good stuff in there. Out of 50, Sean Murphy, uh, some really good stuff. I'm going to have to take finest over prism at this point, but you know, I've only opened this only my fourth box, so we'll see. Jonathan Hernandez out of 75, 74, 75 is the next hit. Red Prism Parallel right there for Allen. So two autos have been located. And thank you very much for the support. Jesus Lusardo will get sleeved up. Kevin Vizio, A. Eugenio Suarez. When is Archives coming out? Probably, I haven't looked that far ahead, amazing, but usually it's the end of July or so. If you do like Archives, um, I really am excited for Clearly Authentic. Sometimes they have some of the older style baseball card designs in there with signatures on there. I can't wait for that. Clearly Authentic comes out on Wednesday this coming week, so it's a busy week. We've got Big League tomorrow, and um, then Clearly Authentic's coming up on Wednesday. Then we have Tops Update Thursday, then Friday is Series 2, finally. Series 2's coming out. We'll be breaking all those days. Gavin Lux. So lots and lots of live streams this week. And then I think we get a little lull after that, and it kind of slows down again. Ramon Laureano, not numbered. Bobachette Stargazing card is a nice one. Sam's, how's it going? Thanks for being here tonight. Brad Keller, this one will be numbered out of 149. There's my guy, Tyler Glass now, one of my favorites. I, I would rank Glass now my top 10 favorite players, along with Austin Meadows, if I was making a list. Those two guys are awesome. So Alan K, um, I was almost said, Alan K, what the heck's going on? There's only two autos, but luckily you have this last little stack here of packs. Let's see. Now uh, Mike P says, don't sleep on selecting Prism rookies, especially those numbered parallels. That's a good point. You pull some nice low numbered parallels of some of these rookies and um, it can be pretty valuable. Fill it. Fibber says, if you do check out B&B Sports Cards in Fairview Park, just outside Cleveland, only LCS in the county that you know. Is it a good one? People have been suggesting I need to go out and do a, a budget buy video instead of doing like Target and Walmart. Well, I still do those, but maybe start adding an LCS once a month and maybe just go around to some different LCSs and there's really none around here. Um, maybe I have to check that out, Fibber. Go and spend... Probably 200 bucks there, Boba Shed. If I'm going to drive like three and a half hours to Cleveland, um, I'm going to have to up my budget a little bit. There's Joe Palumbo, make it worth it and more interesting to watch. Out of 75, Whit Merrifield. What else do we have from this box? There's going to be another autograph coming up. There's a nice Conforto. That one's not numbered. Um, 215 says, Hope, uh, Eric and Heather, you're enjoying your day. Thanks, man. Uh, very good day today. Heather's not currently here right now. She is watching from her house. Uh, with so many live breaks, she's going to not do all of them. That's just too much to ask. There we go. Michael Baez, out of 100, by the way, Mookie Betts. Michael Baez is the third autograph, rookie card. like that one a lot. Whit Merrifield Anderson, Freed, Cattell Marte, and Matt Boyd. So, Alan Kate, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Your box is in the books. Let me go ahead and take... 
your cards and get them all organized up here. Uh, Dylan says, are you doing live openings of Finest soon? Well, if you want me to go back and do more Finest, I could always track down some more cases. I think there's still some cases for sale of those on um, Still City Collectibles and Blowout Cards. I could pick up another one, two, or three, uh, depending on how, how much they have left. Um, but probably not anytime soon, because there's other releases that we are going to be doing before then. Jan and Tom are up right now, spots 11 and 12. Let's see what we can find for you guys and uh mike p says there was an actual fight that broke out at a local target while it was being restocked for baseball cards there was a fight that's crazy um people are hashtag people are clowns mike p what you should have done is you should have taken out your camera right i don't know if you were there or not or whoever reported that to you should have taken a video of that and uh, mosaic basketball that's that's ridiculous what they what they should start doing well maybe that's good mike maybe it's good there's a fight because maybe now target can um maybe take notice that they've got an issue on their hands with uh, people that go and stake out the basketball section for literally hours and stalk the poor um restock guy um I don't, I, I don't know. They should probably start keeping them under glass like they do other stuff that people fight about and steal about and steal and stuff like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. They keep, uh, like, razors under glass and stuff like that. Uh, maybe start keeping the, the uh, mega boxes of Bowman and Mosaic under glass and say one per person. Jan, you're up right now. I know some targets are doing that, and I, I wish that they would all do that. Maybe it should be a company-wide policy. Can I break some mosaic basketball? Well, I I don't think I can find any, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Dave said, someone shared a video of a guy in a Walmart with a physical scale feeling up all the packs. That's absolutely crazy. And 2 and 5 says, the amount of people I witnessed that steal cards and boxes before is absolutely ridiculous. It is ridiculous, and it's uh, really frustrating for just, you know, your every run-of-the-mill, you know, just average fan uh, or collector that just goes and picks up maybe like a blaster or two of what they want. Uh, really stinks, for sure. But anyway, here we go with Jan. Let's see what we can find for you. We have a Tommy Edmond out of 99. Lucas Giolito had a really nice season last year. Autograph, uh, hopefully. No, that's not going to be an autograph. I thought maybe there was one coming up. Instead, it's warming in the pen. Matt Manning, they got a Machado Blue. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., brilliance card. Best hit so far. We had two Bo Bichette autographs thus far. What else do we have coming out of this one? Jan? Maybe you'll find, hopefully you can find one autograph. Amazing Sports is going to do 2007 Heritage. I've been wanting to go back and do some of those older Heritage releases. Those definitely look fun. Here's your first auto. It is Travis Dermott. The Sam Hilliard, by the way, is numbered out of 100. Travis Dermott. Uh, first one up out of the three autographs from our box. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe you'll get a second one. Or if not, Tom's looking at maybe two. Tyson says, will we break pro debut? Um, no, I didn't order any cases of that. I only ordered a few boxes. David says, hello, Mr. Jabs. I was watching your pro debut video. I think it's a highly recommended box. It is a nice box for sure, but, uh, I'm not a, you know, I'm not the biggest prospect guy, I guess, Gavin Lux. <clears throat> so, um, I, I passed on that with so many cases and stuff. I kind of, you know, picked, I want the, want the, the quote unquote, more in demand ones like Prism and Finest and Clearly Authentic and Top Series 2. And I just kind of decided to pass on that this year. Dylan C's Plus, Pro Debut gave me nightmares last year. Literal nightmares. It was so, t I did a team break and the, there's no team name on any of the cards. It's all minor league. So I had to like figure out all 200 plus players, what team they went with. And it was, uh, it was, it was something. That's for sure. Jan, thank you very much. That's yours. Next up, Tom, spot number 12. Let's see what we can find for you. It's Academic says, Clearly Authentic was beautiful last year. Yes, it was. Very, very nice. Samantha says, will there be Tops update in 2020? You know what? Probably just because um, that's a lot of um, 
revenue that they would lose if they just nixed that set. I'm sure that they'll be creative to think of something. How about a Glaber rookie card? Glaber Torres. Add that to our top list. We had two Boba Chets, and now Glaber. Panini Prism, check out the back of this card. Very, very nice. Like that one a lot. Glaber, one of my favorite. I would put him in my top five. Um, maybe not top five, but top ten. I need to make a top ten list. People always ask me who my favorite players are, and Glaber's definitely on there. Along with um, Glass Now and Meadows and Trout. You also should have one more autograph. We've got out of 125, Michael Baez. Prism card there. And let's see if it comes in this stack. There's a Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Not numbered. All these different parallels I have to keep flipping over if I think there's a chance of it. Glass now is underrated. If he would have stayed healthy all last year, then I would have had a real shot at um, really breaking through and maybe challenging for the Cy Young Award. So, Tom, congratulations on the Glaber. No, I have been to Juniata Cards multiple times. Steve is the man. I love Steve. Always gives you good deals. There's Matt Chapman. Here comes the next auto. Tyler says, I wonder if talking to store managers at local Target and Walmarts about box limits, securing them would get anything done. Might be worth a shot. Tyler, yeah, man. Um, maybe they, uh, maybe there's something they could do so when they go to check out or something, if they, what the, what these sneaky guys do, by the way, so they, they'll literally grab every box. And uh, they'll get a self-checkout, think that nobody will see, no one will see it. But maybe if there's something they can do, some little, uh, I don't know, flag or something they can put in the computer system that only allows one box to be scanned, maybe that'll do something. Uh, something needs to be done. Nick Solak is the other auto. Matt Chapman out of 175. Check that one out. Nick Solak, rookie card. Like that one. Who's my favorite all-time Cardinal player? Well, I'm going to have to go with Andy Van Slyke. Played for the Cardinals for a few years there. Started in 1983, was traded over the Pirates on April Fool's Day of 87. There's Bo Bichette, rookie card. Got to get that one sleeved up. Solak, rookie card, to go along with the beautiful Glaber. Here's the rest of these for you, Tom, with the nice hit. Jordan Alvarez, illumination card. Get that one sleeved up. Joe Mess card says, what's up, Jabs? How's it going, man? You just missed Glaber Torres' um Auto being pulled and two Bo Bichettes. That's out of 75. Castellano still in cease, not number, but still a nice one. Pirates number one draft pick last year. Quinn Priester is a nice hit as well. And that is going to do it for Tom. So, Tom, congratulations. Yeah, no, that's a. I guess he's back opening it. I might have to make another trip up there. It's also my. I consider that my LCS. It's like an hour and a half away. But, um, I don't know. Maybe maybe sometime in the near future I can head on back up there. All right, so next box up, it's going to be Ryan, spot number 13, and Brad. They are going to split this box. We'll go ahead and pull that one down off the shelf. Take a quick drink of water. And now we're good to go. Gerard Dyson. Tyson, <laughs> that's your favorite... Royals player. He's a cool guy, Gerard Dyson. Now he's on the Buccos. So um, I wouldn't say he's my favorite, but I, I used to like him. He was always generous in the outfield in Cleveland. That's why I like him. All right, so Ryan, let's see what we got. Two, four, six for you, and two, four, six for Brad. Uh, Ryan says, I walked in on the Target restock yesterday. They had 12 mega boxes. That's awesome. How'd you handle that? Were you able to resist the temptation to buy all of them, or did you clean them out? Uh, some people would clean them out. Some people wouldn't. Uh, Battle says, how do you sign up for Patreon? I want to start participating in your breaks and supporting your channel, Battle Rats. If you check the video description to this video, it's there. I also put a link in all of my videos in the video description. Uh, if you can follow that. Hey, there's Daddy Daughter. Thank you very much, Daddy Daughter. There's the link. Just click on that. That'll take you over to the Patreon page. You can check it out and see if it's something you'd be interested in. As we start going through our next, there's Spencer Turnbull out of 75 for Ryan. Uh, Amazing says, who's the player you get in every pack? Mine's Buster Posey. For me, last year, it was um, Ryan O'Hearn and Cedric Mullins, at least their autos. Kevin Biggio, Mike Moustakis. All right, where is the hit going to appear? I was thinking maybe it was going to be coming up here, but there's a Dallas Keuchel. 
That one's out of 100, 9 of 100. Paul says that these stores really don't care about cards in the first place, and they only care if you're buying a bath mat, Bobby Witt Jr. Well, they'll care if uh, people are starting to fight about um, the cards in their aisles. That's a bad bad uh, look for them. Uh, Battle Raps, it doesn't matter what tier that you sign up. You can be on the lowest tier of the $0.10 cents a day, $3 a month one. You used to have the same amount of access to the breaks as everybody else. It's first come, first serve for everybody for the breaks. Uh, the people on the highest tier, they get to buy in early if they want to, and they get a discount as well. But if you're on the $3 tier and you want to be in 2011 Tops Update, so long as there's spots left, which there are, you could sign up for that. Uh, shout out to you, Bolts Cards. Thank you very much for being here. Let's see what else we can find for Ryan in spot number 13. I'm hoping that 13 isn't a lucky number for him. We'll see. Hopefully there's an autograph in here. I'm not seeing one yet. And there's a nice Jacob DeGrom. There's the autograph coming up. Let's see who it is. It is Edwin Rios. DeGrom's out of 149. Edwin Rios, you do have an autograph right there. Ben and Heather says, here in coastal Washington, I was finally able to get my first box of Bowman at Target. Uh, just talked to the Walmart staff today, and their vendor hasn't restocked in five weeks. That's kind of the common theme in a lot of Walmarts. Uh, even the Walmarts around here, which usually are pretty well stocked for the past couple months, they have not been stocking at all. There's Aristides Aquino, Prism rookie card. Get that one sleeved up. Nice instant impact trout red. Uh, David said, my friend Colt Keith got drafted by the Tigers in the fifth round. Well, congratulations. That's awesome. Um, it's cool that you know him. I'm guessing you're going to get some free comp tickets to some minor league games in the future, or hopefully maybe even if he makes the big leagues someday. Ben and Heather likes the Tops Tins much better. I do love those Tops Tins as well. Ryan, thank you very much. Got your cards all taken care of here. And on to the next stack of cards. This one is for Brad, spot number 14. Shout out to you, Finley. Congratulations on finding a Mike Trout auto. Those are not easy to find. He doesn't sign that much. All right, so here we go. Brad, spot number 14. What can we find for you? Dave M says, are there even any good rookies in Series 2? Well, um, I guess, honestly, you're going to have to look forward to Luis Robert, and then I don't know what else after that. I'm sure the checklist should be coming out this week if it hasn't already uh, hit the... Uh, cardboard Connection website, San, uh, Sandy Alcantara numbered card right there. Best hit so far, two Bo Bichettes and a Glaber Auto so far. Let's see what else. There's going to be two more autos coming up. There's Gavin Luck, so add that to the hit list. Uh, two Bo Bichettes, Glaber, and now Gavin. So four nice hits so far amongst the five, six boxes we've opened. Gavin Lux like that one a lot. Congratulations, Brad, on finding one of the best rookies uh, hopefully we can find Jordan Alvarez as well. Gavin Lux Auto. Mike says Fire Card. Bolt says Lux Auto. Nice one right there. Very nice card. Like that one. Michael says Fire. So uh, that might be the best auto from this box. We'll see. There should be another one coming out of here. As there's two auto or three autographs per box. There's a James McCann number out of 125. Uh, JJ Blade number one pick for the Marlins. Tyson says your PE teacher, Coach Monte Harrison at basketball, his brother Shaquille Harrison, who's an NBA player. That's pretty awesome. That says Gavin Lux is having a nice hypothetical season. Yeah, I really wish the baseball season would start. Tom asks how much of these boxes. They're uh, 195 before tax and before shipping on Steel City, so probably right around $200, maybe a little more after the taxes and stuff are added in. All right, so here we go. This is the last stack for you, Brad. Let's see if you can top that Gavin Lux or come close to it. Um, Hits Only. Thanks, man. Hope you guys will check out Hits Only channel. He's up over 300 subscribers now. And Zach Gallon, nice pitcher for the um, Arizona Dynamax. The Fortis out of 175. Check it out. Zach Gallon. Like that one a lot. Very, very nice. Caleb said, is there a way I can get one more spot and get a whole box? Caleb, let me see here. You are, uh, that's going to make things a little bit uh, tricky for me because I've already solidified the spots. And uh, if I bump people around by moving you up to give you a box, it might throw off some boxes after that. And then if there's a big hit, uh, someone's going to get mad. Like, that should have been my spot because, uh, but you moved it because um, Caleb wanted to move 
Um, but if you'd like to buy more spots, you can do so. I'll just add you on to the end. I'm solidified through spot number 54 right now. Uh, we're on spot 14. If anybody would like to buy in, I do have a grand total of 72 spots available. So, Brad, thank you very much. Uh, Clayton's up next. Clayton's got himself an entire box. 15 of 16. Let's see what we can find for you. All right. I found my box cutter. Got covered up by these packs over here. Happy birthday to you, Red Sox collector. You have a double extra special day there. Father's Day and birthday. That's pretty awesome. Landon says, I remember the day back when you could actually buy basketball cards in stores. Randy, happy Father's Day to you as well. Here's all the packs. Any Hall of Fame autos yet, says Mario. Nope, no Hall of Fame autos yet, but um, trying to keep track of the big hits for you guys because people keep asking as they come into the room. Everybody can uh, is available at different times. So two Bo Bichettes, Gavin Lux, and Glaber autographs so far. Yeah, one Tiger parallel so far, Pepsi Max. So, Clayton, here we go. Spots 15, 16, entire box for you. Mitchell says, what time will the stream be over? I have no idea. We started at 8, and uh, if I would guess, I don't know, 11 to midnight, somewhere in there. We'll see. Aristides Aquino is a nice one. That one is out of 149, maybe less than that, since all the spots aren't sold. I'm really bad at estimating. Heather always um, teases me about that. I'm so terrible at estimating. She's like, what time do you think we'll be done tonight? And I'll be off by like three hours. There's Brandon Lau. Bryce Harper. Illumination card. That's a nice one. What else do we have? Fireworks. Nolan Arenado. Kyle Lewis rookie card. We've got Dakota Hudson. We are doing the two giveaways. The uh, postcards from the 60s and also the finest box. Willie Brakes says, Happy Father's Day, Jabs. Let's see some fire. Thank you very much. Willie Brakes, I appreciate that. Hope you guys will check out Willie Brakes and give him some support. And Dave M says, when's that 24-hour live stream happening? That actually has never happened. I think I had, somebody floated that idea out there. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. 24-hour live stream. And then I feel completely dead tired after I do like a five-hour live stream. I would have to have, um, if it was 24 hours, it would there'd have to be some backup for me. So I could go and lay down, take a nap, get something to eat. I, I don't think I could sit here. Uh, for 24 consecutive hours without probably like passing out. There's Justin Verlander. Uh, Matt Carpenter's in there. Here comes an autograph. It is going to be after the Shohei Otani numbers game card. The auto is Richie Martin. The Otani's out of 75, by the way. Richie Martin um, from the Orioles. So check that one out. Richie Martin. Um... I'm going to plead ignorance on Ricky, Richie Martin. I don't even know who the heck that is. A Radical Rip says, 37 subs off of 100. Pull some heat. Radical Rips, thank you very much. Anyone know anything about Richie Martin? Even if you're an Orioles fan, you might be like, who is that guy? Um, yeah, that was a sticker on that one. So first hit is a Richie Martin. Orioles rule five draft pick, says Tyson. Tyson, thank you very much. So those Rule 5 picks, a lot of times, um, they just sit on the bench and don't play hardly at all um, because they have to keep them on the Major League roster for the entire season or offer them back to the original team. There's Gavin Lux. That's a nice one. Richie Martin was the first pick in the Rule 5 draft two years ago and started for them at shortstop last year and sucked, says Dave M. So Dave M. not pulling any punches. Uh, I, I try to keep away from that. A negative 1.3 war. Did he make it the whole way through or do they offer him back? Because if they, they don't keep him on the roster the whole year with Rule 5 picks, they have to offer them back to the team. All right, so one hit right there. Let's see what else we can find. For Clayton... All right, so Zach Gallon leads things off. He made it through, so now he's their property. How about a nice Fernando Tatis Jr. snakeskin out of 50? Like that one right there. Tatis Jr., that's a good one. We'll get that one sleeved up for you. I was trying to win a Fernando Tatis card today. It was like $75. It was an auto from, I think it was like Immaculate Collection. Then it just went like super sky high at the end. And I was like, eh, I can't pay that much for that. And Shun Yamaguchi is the next hit out of 99. Shun Yamaguchi Blue. 
for rookie card auto for the Blue Jays for Clayton. There's one more autograph coming your way. We'll see who that is. How about a very nice Cracked Ice Bo Bichette out of 25? Check out this one. Bo Bichette. like that one a lot. Very nice looking card right there. Clayton, that actually is probably your most valuable card right now. More than those autos. That is a doozy. Let's see what else we can find now. The last three packs. Pete Pete says a bow beautiful. And Devlin loves the parallels in this. Will says, I love those cracked ice cards. And Joel says, watch your videos. Has got me back into the hobby. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the hobby. It's awesome that you are back. And uh, Amazing Sports Mixes says, Jeff, do you ever open NFL packs? I'll tell you what. Every time I go out to Walmart, <coughs> or um, Target for that matter, and there's there's like football on the shelves, people chew me out. And they're like, why don't you buy all those football blocks? You can't find those anywhere. So I might pick up some football cards next time I'm out, um, if I can find anything. Um, in my next, uh, I'm planning on going out to Walmart at some point this week and doing that Walmart $100 budget video again. And last draft says a... Yormi Yormi, I don't even know how to say that. Giant, great. Yamaguchi, nice pull. Uh, so a Japanese team, the Giants, uh, have a Yamaguchi, a Shun Yamaguchi, played for them. Nice pull right there. I don't know anything about him, actually. Uh, Mikey says, the Jabs card flip is the collector's version of the bat flip. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The uh, way I flip the cards around, that is a bat, like a bat flip. I love bat flips. Uh, I feel like we need a, a little more bat flips in the game, although the old timers hate bat flips. There's a JD Martinez out of 100. Reynaldo Lopez is the last one right there. Reynaldo Lopez, there's his signature. That's the third auto for Clayton. We'll go through the rest of the box. Favorite year for cards? Oh, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of different years that I like. 89 was uh, the year I started collecting cards, so that one will always have a soft spot in my heart. For sure, Jesus Lusardo, Shohei Otani, Kevin Biggio, and A. Eugenio Suarez is the last one for Clayton. So he had the full box. Thank you very much, Clayton. Get these cards taken care of. Spots 15 and 16. And now we're moving ahead, forging ahead to spots 17 and 18. And this one is for Justin. He also has the entire box. Best of luck to you, Justin. Let's see what we can find. So we slice on through here. Michael says J.D. Martinez is in his top 10 for hitters in the MLB. I don't know if I'd put J.D. Martinez in the top 10, but uh, he's a solid player for sure. All right, Justin, here we go. Here's your all your packs. Let's see what we can find for you. Take this box and throw it on the ground and... I have to crush that as my garbage can's overflowing outside right now. I have to try to conserve some space. Bearded Collector says, best of luck to everyone in the break. Bearded Collector, thank you, man. Really appreciate the kind words. Check out Bearded Collector if you haven't already. And uh, Ryan says, oh my, I didn't realize you were live. Let's get some fire. Thanks, man. You usually, um, it says, I think there's a little red dot or maybe it even says live in a little red box if we are live. And we're going to be live a lot this week. Live tomorrow with Big League. Live on Wednesday with Clearly Authentic. Live on Thursday at 7.27 p.m. The 2011 Tops Update. Chase of the Mike Trout. It's going to be pretty crazy. And then live uh, Friday with Top Series 2. So this is literally the biggest week of the year so far for live streams. 64 out of 99 for Cody Bellinger. Joshua Ward with a $5 Super Chat. Thank you. I really appreciate that, man. Joshua. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel. I hope you guys will check his channel out. And Sandbar Service says, I truly enjoy watching you open packs. I'm a current subscriber. Unfortunately, I can't be a member at this time due to low finances. But one day I'll invest in you. Thanks. You know, you just being here and watching, that is uh, that is one way of support. And I really, really am glad that you are hanging out with us tonight on this Father's Day, June 21st. So, Justin, first run of packs is in the books. No autograph yet. Willie's got a – says, be back later. I get off work, and if you will, have a safe trip home, Willie. Brian, thank you, man. Happy Father's Day to you as well. 
Tyson says, everybody liked the video. Thank you guys for everyone that has liked the video. Here comes our next hit. It's going to be a Adalberto Mondesi numbered out of 10. Willie Adames is out of 149. Let's check this one out. Very nice one right here. Adalberto Mondesi, speed and power. He could be the next superstar out there. Uh, a lot of fantasy um, team owners love this guy. Adalberto Mondesi out of 10. So nice hit right there. Low number. Uh, Ethan, happy birthday. 13th birthday tomorrow for Ethan. Steve says, I feel Jazz will find the Trout in the 2011 break. Always has the luck, it appears. It'll be funny if there ends up being no Trout at all. Well, let's, uh, let's just knock on some wood for that. Don't want to jinx us. I hope that we can find it. If we don't find it, then I'm just going to have to buy another uh, box at some point down the road, and we'll do it again maybe in another year. Ike says, Jabs, hope you're doing well, homie. Happy Father's Day. Ike, thank you very much. Happy Father's Day to you as well. And uh, thanks for joining us tonight. There's Ike Rodriguez, everybody. Uh, very awesome artist. Here we go, our next two. We have an out of 125, Patrick Sandoval. Looking for our next uh, big hit. Gavin Lux will get in the sleeve. Uh, Tom's definitely looking forward to Thursday. I It's going to be pretty crazy on Thursday for sure. I'm expecting over a 1,000 live viewers for Thursday. I don't know how high we're going to get, but it's um, some people have said maybe as high as like three to 4,000 live viewers in here. 727 on Thursday going after Mike Trout's rookie card from 2011 Tops Update. Bo Bichette. Nice rookie, and there's going to be a hit after it, and it is our old buddy Jordan Yamamoto, who um, it's only our first one we found today, but we found a lot of him in Top's Finest. I think there's five or six of him coming out of Finest. So he joins Alberto Montese. Steve says, Happy Father's Day to all the fathers in the chat. Hope everyone is having a nice day. Hope everyone is having a nice day, and Happy Father's Day. For all of you guys that have just tuned in, Chad said just tuning in any big hits. Yeah, two Bo Bichette autos so far. Also, Gavin Lux auto and Glaber Torres auto. With the got a Riz out of 125 right there. Keith is calling 4,000 live viewers on Thursday. We'll see. That's going to be a fun one to see how high that number climbs. All right, we've got Liam Hendricks, Riley Green. I just apologize in advance if I'm not able to see your comments on Thursday just because the feed is going to be pretty darn quick streaming by. I can only see the last two to three comments as it is right now. And I do miss them as we go along right now. Um, it's going to be pretty fast on Thursday, I think. All right, so Justin, here we go. Daddy Darts is all need my glasses. I'll have to have all hands on deck for that day. Here we go. Next spot for Justin. You should do some big league, says Finley. We're doing big league tomorrow. For all of those of you that like big league, that's coming up tomorrow. There's you, Darvish. That one's number out of 175. And we have Isan Diaz is going to be our next auto. There he is, Isan Diaz from the Marlins. So two Marlins autos out of this box, Jordan Yamamoto and Isan Diaz. There's a nice Mookie Betts. Did anyone watch golf today? Asked Miles. Is golf back? I did not know that. Um, Mookie Metzger is the back of that card. Mauricio Dubon, Bregman, Blackman, Jesus Lusardo, Shohei Otani. We've got a Keston Hero right there. This one is going to be numbered out of 75. Very, very nice. Josh Bell, instant impact card. Here's the rest of your cards. And Jeff McNeil's last one for Justin. Justin, thank you very much. Go ahead and get these cards taken care of. Next box up, spots 19 and 20. Steve says, Big League has a nice design this year, and I like that it's very affordable. Yeah, it is really affordable. You can get it for under $40 a box. And uh, it does have a nice, clean design, nice white border, and those orange parallels are actually pretty cool this year as well. I like those orange parallels. Uh, here we go with the next spot. Jim is up right now. Let's see what we can find for you. Uh, Tyson says, Trout is always the cover boy for Series 2. We'll see. I, I don't know if we've seen that yet, but you're right. Last year it was um, Trout and Hank Aaron on the front. However, in 2018, uh, Trout was on Series 1. Trout was on Series 2 in 2016. I'm trying to think of 2017. It was Chris Bryant and Clayton Kershaw. 
and Aaron Judge had updates. So 2017, there was no trout on any of the top's major releases. It was Chris Bryant for Series 1, Kershaw for Series 2, and Aaron Judge for the update series. So they skipped them that year. I don't know if they're going to skip them this year. I would highly recommend that they don't skip Mike Trout, best player in the game. All right, so Jim, let's see what we can find for you now. Spot 19 and 20. Nathan says, hey, Jabs, just joined the stream. What's the best pull so far? We did find two Boba Shett autos, Gavin Lux and Glaber. What am I opening on Thursday? Well, we're going to be opening 2011 Tops Update, chasing Mike Trout's rookie card live. It's a jumbo box. It's out of 35, Bruce Star Gratterall. Very nice. What's that? One of those blue parallel donut cards, I think. Very nice looking card right there. Michael Chavis, Boba Shett Stargazing. Okay, let's see. Trent Grissom, Brandon Lau. Looking for our first hit of the day for Jim, or Jim's first hit of the day. Here comes a nice parallel of Steven Strasburg. Nice looking card right there. Illumination. That one's out of 99. Check that one out. Very sweet looking card. Mike Trout Red, not numbered, but still a good one. We'll get that one numbered as well. Alec Bohm, AJ Puck rookie card, Sandy Alcantara. All right, Jim, so the first three packs had no auto in there. Maybe the next three will. We'll see. Father's Day was great today, uh, Nachum. I uh, had a very nice day with all the kiddos, all four of them. And let's see what we can find now on this next one. Hopefully you had a nice day as well. There's Adalbert Demontese. Just pulled his autograph. That one's not numbered, Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver with a nice season last year. I think he had like 31 homers. And he was actually hurt for a while, too. Here comes the first autograph of the box for Jim. It is a Domingo Leyba and Moustakas out of 149. Domingo Leyba, there he is. First hit. MLB and TCG says, Jabs, you got me back into collecting and starting a YouTube channel now. Well, that's cool. Welcome back to the hobby. Now, a lot of us were out of the hobby at one point. Now we're back in nice Jordan Alvarez. This one is not numbered, but a nice... Parallel card. We'll get that one sleeved up. How much does a blaster box of these cost? Well, a blaster box is always going to be $20. Um, they might... I don't know if they're going to make mega boxes of this or not. I don't think they did last year. I remember seeing the blasters last year. They're 19, 1999. You only got a few cards in them, I feel like. But still pretty cool. For those of you who like the prisms. All right, Jim. Here's your next pack. Next stack, I should save three. I predict you'll see the blasters come on the shelves for the next couple weeks. It all depends on how well your Walmart has been stocking. Jeff McNeil, that one's out of 100. We got Jake Odorizzi. How many boxes are left in the case? There's two more boxes left in this first case. There's 12 boxes per case, and we're on spot 20, so we got uh, 21 through 24. Uh, we've got Brendan McKay. That's a nice auto right there. Uh, very, very nice. And Adam says, are you going straight to the 2011 update box on Thursday? Is there going to be a build-up? Adam, we're going straight to it. I'm, I don't have any, like, uh, opening act or anything like that. Adam, we're just going to go, boom, right into it. 2011 Tops Update Jumbo Box. That's one of the things I... <laughs> last time I did... There's a nice Brennan McKay. Last time I did 2011 Tops Update, I kind of regret it because there was, uh... It was like a multi-break, and the 2011 Tops Update was, like, sandwiched in the middle of the break, so... I don't know. Uh, I wish I would have just made it just that box because that was a doozy of a box. There's Yon Moncada out of 125. We've got Juan Soto. And Mike Trout, Brian Reynolds is the last one as well. Finley says, your videos help me get through this. Finley, I'm glad that the videos are helping. Well, whatever you're going through, man. And Lance says, ever consider some DMB background jams? Lance, uh... That's a good idea, but unfortunately, um, I would be demonetized for that. So uh, the video would not be able to earn any ad revenue with any music playing in the background. It would all go straight to Dave Matthews Band. So I tend to stay away from background music, even though that is a cool idea. All right, so here we go. Aaron Nola, that one's going to be numbered. And the hit is going to be a Jonathan Daza. The Nola's out of 175. Let's check it out. There it is. Jonathan Daza from the Colorado Rockies. 
Joe McD says, Jabs, any good pulls tonight? Yeah, two Bo Bichette's, Gavin Lux, Glaber Torres Autos so far out of this first case. So those were the best ones. Jordan Alvarez, rookie card right there. We'll get that one sleeved up for Jim. Hoping to find some more big-time hits. I do believe that Jim has one more autograph coming his way. I always uh, put the autos in a separate pile to get top-loaded, and I'm seeing two right there. I had a Brendan McKay auto. And uh, I guess he did have three. He had Jonathan Daza, Brendan McKay, and Domingo Leyva were his three for Jim. So Brendan McKay was the best auto out of that box, by far in my humble opinion. And now we're on to the next full box. This one is going to be for Rob. Let's see what we can find for you. I'll just take Jim's stuff, take care of that. All right, here we go. Next box. How many hits just got in? Well... Uh, what do we had now? This is box number... We've done 10 boxes total tonight. So 30 hits so far. Keith says MLBPA postpones vote as talks continue with the league. Well, that could be good or bad. I don't know. I, I feel like Manfred just needs to, uh, you know, just lay the hammer down and be like, this is what it's going to be for the good of the game. We've... Uh, we cannot lose baseball... That's going to really hurt because even though, like, they, there's lots of different reasons not to have a season, but it it looks like if they don't have a season, people are going to totally forget about the uh, – they're not going to blame the virus. They're going to blame greedy players and greedy owners, and that's what it's going to come down to, even though the virus does have something to do with it. Silent Collector with a smiley face. Thanks, man. Hope you guys will check out Silent Collector. Here's Rob K. Thank you for supporting my channel, man. There's Daddy Daughter with the link for Silent Collector. Fibber says that games would be so weird without fans. That's going to be strange for sure. And uh, a lot of the announcers are going to be working remotely and just watching the game on TV with you and then calling it from afar. There's a Ken Giles out of 125. That's going to be a little bit strange too. We'll see how that goes. It'll be interesting, but... Some baseball is better than no baseball. There's a nice auto right there for Rob. Jesus Lusardo. Rookie auto. That is a very nice one. Jesus Lusardo. Like that one. The Molinator says, I remember when the Orioles had no fans. Yeah, there was some civil unrest a few years ago in Baltimore. And um, they held the game without any fans whatsoever. Uh, kind of very that that kind of gives you a preview of to what it would be like. There's Brett Gardner out of 175 brilliance Raphael Devers. We'll be giving away that Devers soon. Yelich Bregman and Bear Rios right there. What else do we have coming up here? Rob Kent got Jesus Lusardo already on the board. See if we can add to him in this stack. Andres Munoz pulled a lot of his autos uh, recently. Been seeing him pop up all over the place. Jesus Lusardo right there. Hey, there's Joshua Ward with a thumbs up super sticker. Joshua, thanks for the support. <laughs> thank you for the thumbs up. And thank you to everyone that's hit the thumbs up on this video. I appreciate that. Tyrone Taylor, Sonny Gray's out of 75. Tyrone Taylor from the Brew Crew. There's the hit. And it uh, looks like Tyrone Taylor is such an obscure player that they only had one picture of him. See that? Now let's flip it over. They used the exact same picture on both sides. <laughs> Tyrone Taylor. Uh, what else? We have Walker Bueller, Jeff McNeil, Raphael Devers, TJ Zook. Be one more auto coming up here for Rob. Jesus Lusardo is a good one for sure. And ABC Need 123 is here. Anthony, how's it going, man? It says, hi, Eric and all. Good luck. On the break, I pulled an Alonso the Man Auto. 205 at 2020 Tops Finest yesterday. I love those The Man sets in Finest, kind of reminiscent of the 1998 Finest design of that set. That's a great pull right there. ABC's need one, two, three. Check his channel out. Check out his call on that Alonso. That is a good one for sure. We pulled an Alonso Auto also out of Finest. It wasn't a The Man one, though, out of five. You got me beat on that one. Dirk Remington says, starting road breaks this week from somewhere in the U.S. Dirk, that's pretty awesome. So is that a new um, series on your channel, Road Breaks? Check them out, guys. Dirk, thank you very much. Let's see what else we have coming up. Uh, Ramon Laureano, we have Jacob DeGrom. That one is numbered out of 99. Howie Kendrick. 
Max Freed. And there's Eduardo Escobar. What's my best card? T206 Cy Young card is my personal best card. Uh, Sean Mania. There is a Liam Hendricks. And that one's out of 100. Whit Merrifield, Mookie Betts, Goldie, and Aloy Jimenez right there. Rob, you're looking for one more autograph. Let's see if you can find it. Cheetos King says, I'm concerned that rookie cards will decrease in value with no minor league season. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's really tough to know what the heck is going to happen. I mean, they postponed the season here. In March, you got rid of spring training and everything and said, oh, we don't know when we're going to get started. And what happened to the hobby then? Went crazy. Everything like doubled and tripled in value. So I don't exactly know what's going to happen. It's anyone's guess if it's just going to keep going up or not. Dirk says, just getting annoyed. Traveling 3,000 miles this week? That's pretty awesome. Is that just for the video or are you you're making a, like you already have that plan and you're just, you know, making the most of it and making some stops? Uh, that's something I would definitely like to do. 3,000-mile trip for baseball cards. That would be fun. What's National Treasures coming out? Sometime this summer. I can't remember, Packer. I think it's either end of July or sometime in August. I'll have to double-check that. Caleb Swiger says, Hey, Jabs, I pulled a Tier 1 Altuve Silver Auto <laughs> out of 10 trash can. Wanting to sell it if anyone is interested. So, Caleb, thank you very much. If we have any Houston Astros fans here that still like Altuve, make sure you check out Caleb. Hit him up. And um, maybe get that off of him. Mitch Garver out of 149. TJ Zook is the hit right there. Nice one. No Hall of Fame autos yet out of 75. I really appreciate that, Caleb. Maybe uh, you can find an Astros fan here that wants to buy an Altuve. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't looked at Altuve's 2011 Tops update value-wise to see what that card has done, but... There's some nice rookies in 2011 Tops Update, along with Trout. There's Altuve in there. There's J.D. Martinez. There's Paul Goldschmidt. Uh, some some other good rookies to chase down for sure. So, Rob, that's your box. And Rob Sports Talk says, thanks for the shout-out last time. My subscribers tripled. So, Rob Sports Talks, you are welcome. Thank you very much for the support. I'm glad that we were able to triple your subscriber base. That's awesome, man. Makes me happy. And, um... Yeah, make sure that you come in and participate in the live chat on Thursday. We might be able to triple it again with, with uh, I don't know, two, 3,000 live viewers of 2011 update. That's going to be a fun one for sure. I hope you guys, if you haven't already uh, checked out Rob's Sports Talks, that you do so and um, give them your support as Rob's box is in the books. And this is the final box from case number one. It's for Curtis. Let's see what we can find for uh, Curtis now in spot 23 slash 24 we'll see Curtis also in the 2011 Tops update break All right, so let's see what we can find. Keith says, good night, everybody. Good night, Heather. Keith, you're going to bed already? Thanks for being here. I guess it is 9.22 p.m., and some of you might have to get up early tomorrow. I have to get up super early tomorrow myself. All right, so let's see what we have. There's Frankie. Frankie Lindor, that one is numbered out of 149. What else do we have? There's Max Kepler, Nelly Cruz, Tommy Pham, Scott Kingery. This one is not numbered. It's one of those cards that fake me out with 18 different parallels. Some of them are numbered and some of them are not. Uh, Josh Ward says, work calls. Love watching the breaks. Good luck to everyone. Thank you very much, Joshua Ward. I appreciate your support. I hope you guys will check out Josh and um, have a great time at work. I hope you can check us out on the replay later tonight or tomorrow. Uh, so let's see. Elliot says, can you please shout out how the, you're going to contact the giveaway winner? Yeah, I'm just going to send you a comment right back. I'm going to find your original comment that is selected and say, hey, here's how you win. Here's my email address. Send me your address. That's pretty pretty simple. We'll do that at the end of this. Do the um, Yeah, we'll do the mystery box Monday night. Today I have it set up for the finest box and also the... Um, well, the uh, mystery box Monday stuff to the um, Mickey Mantle 
comic from the Mystery Box Monday from two weeks ago. Bo Bichette, we'll get that one sleeved up. So, Curtis, still no autographs yet for you. And we uh, we are about 33% of the way through the box. Let's see if we can find one soon. Should be coming up right now. There's Jorge Soler. Here it comes. It is going to be an Anthony K. The Soler, by the way, is out of 175. Anthony K is the first auto. There it is. Shane's here. Shane says, beautiful card. Well, now that Shane's here, we know we're going to probably pull an Nolan Ryan because it seems like every time he's in here, uh, he's really been after Nolan Ryan. Maybe not, though, because I don't think Shane's in this break. So maybe we won't pull him. But last three breaks, we've pulled Nolan Ryan on us, which is pretty crazy. All right, so Curtis, you got one auto down. That's Anthony K. Let's see if we can find some more for you. Caleb's been wanting to throw his Altuve card in the garbage can. I wonder what the value of that card is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if people are still buying him or not. Will Altuve someday be forgiven? Uh, I'm, I don't know. That's tough to say. Packrat says, I love your videos. Can I get your autograph, Packrat? Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, I will send you a little note back there for sure. There's Javi Baez out of 175. Thank you for the kind words, Pack Rat. Here comes the next hit. It is going to be a... Looks like uh, Chem Geek says, Hey, Jeb, sorry for asking the same question. Which 2020 product has been your favorite so far? I really like the distinct style of Gypsy Queen. That's a good one. Uh, Gypsy Queen, really tough to find now. And Hobby Box of Gypsy Queen, I sold them for $99 when they first came out. They're like $240 a box now. It's like almost tripled in value. How about an Aristides Aquino? Add that to the good list. So Aquino, another top card that we pulled, Aristides Aquino autograph. We pulled two Bo Bichette autos. We pulled Gavin Lux auto, and now we pulled Aristides Aquino. So we're pulling all the good rookie cards. Now we just need to find Jordan Alvarez. Very, very nice here. Congratulations on that one. I was hoping that uh, that would be numbered, but still it's a nice hit for sure. Starling Marte with the D-backs out of 75. There's Corey Kluber. Now with the Rangers, that's going to be weird. Seeing some of these guys that you got so accustomed to, like uh, spent their whole careers with the uh, certain team. Corey Kluber came over to the Indians from the Padres and been with them forever. Now he's on the Rangers. I've only ever seen Stalling Marte in a Pirates uniform. All right, so here we go. One more hit for Curtis. Let's see what can join that Aquino. Let's see if we can outdo Aristides in our final box here of Prism of uh, the first case, at least. We do have two more cases to go. Uh, here comes the hit after the Brian Anderson. It is going to be Jonathan Loisega. The Anderson's out of 99. Jonathan Loisega from the Yankees. And uh, he always squeezes his signature, like, super tight. Uh, looks like it says J-Lo Eagle on it. Um, Jonathan Loisega. Uh, interesting signature for him. That's the third hit from the Yankees. We'll see if he's going to pan out for them. Or not. Hopefully he does. Always rooting for the rookies to come through. Uh, Jeff McNeil, Yamamoto, and Devers is the last card for Curtis. So, Curtis, congratulations on that nice hit of the Aristides Aquino. Like that one a lot. Case number one is in the books. Time for our second case. Let me go ahead and get Curtis's cards all organized and taken care of here and put off screen all right next box brand new case this one is going to doug he's got spot 25 and bruce aka doc has spot 26 they're going to split up this box best of luck to both of you guys elliot says how do you know what to buy at target well elliot um i go to target at least like i don't know around once a week if it's the same stuff week after week, you know that it's not going to be any good. But if I see, see something new there, I'll definitely buy it. Um, there's some stuff that's really hot out there, like the Mega Boxes and the Mosaic Basketball that people are always buying. Doug's up first. Let's see what we can find for you, Doug. Taking your packs off the left. All right, best of luck to you, Doug. The Molinator says, there's nothing by me in Target or Walmart. That's pretty much how it is in probably like 90% of the USA right now judging off of all the comments that I've read 
on my Walmart videos. How about our second Gavin Lux? So Doug with a big hit. Gavin Lux autograph number two of the night. So we got two Bo Bichettes. We got two Gavin Lux. We've got Aristides Aquino on the board and a Glaber on the board. And now Gavin Lux joins that. Very nice. Prism Auto, Gavin Lux. Congratulations, Doug, on that one. That's a sweet card right there. So Gavin Lux, number two in spot 25. Very nice card. Always like finding the big rookie autos. There's Liam Hendricks. That one's going to be out of 100. Uh, Eric says, love watching your breaks. Got me back in the hobby after 15 years. Welcome back to the hobby. Glad to have you back. Does Prism have numbered autos? Some of them do. There's a uh, Javi Baez Blue. We've pulled a couple of them that have been numbered. There's Matt Boyd. Nice strikeout pitcher for the Tigers. All right, let's see what else we can find for you. Mike says, we were all out of the hobby and back now. It's because of you, Father's Day, and watching the card, Father. Thanks, Jams. Thank you very much for the kind words. Um, I'm glad that we're all back in the hobby. It's a great hobby. It's fun, man. Definitely fun, especially uh, in times like these. Uh, fun to take your mind off all the stuff going on out there. Let's see. Uh, next door says, Prism is such a bad blank product. Uh, Heather says the card father. Heather is here. Hey, Heather, how's it going? Richie Martin out of 149. Frankie Lindor. Richie Martin, rule five pick for the Orioles, our second one of him. Well, um, Doug's probably like, well, I, at least I have the Gavin Lux autograph. John Means to join. Dakota Hudson, Aloy Jimenez. Then we have Kirby Yates. There's Max Scherzer. People have been missing you, Heather. I said you weren't in the house tonight. There's Max Scherzer out of 175. I'm missing you as well as these cards, uh, the stacks are piling up off, off camera right now. Heather has, uh, has such a nice system when she's here, sleeving these cards up and immediately um, getting them all taken care of and team bagged up and everything. So, all right, Doug, congratulations on the Lux and also the... Richie Martin hits, not Ricky Martin, Richie Martin will take care of these ones. All right, time to go on now to our second half. Heather says she's listening. Okay, I'm glad that you're still here. That makes me happy. Although I can't, I can't see any text because I'm on the do not disturb mode right now for the duration, but... Bruce, let's see what we can find for you. You're going to have an autograph. We know that. You just missed out on the Lux by one spot. All right, let's see what we can find. Hopefully, your auto is going to be a good one. Kem says, do you collect other sports? Your target's loaded with hockey. I, I did see a bunch of hockey at my target last time I was there, like a bunch of OPG hockey, and I don't know if people around here collected or not. Julio Tehran, it seemed like it might have sat there for like a week. Christian Yelich, brilliance card. Not numbered. Jacob DeGrom. You Darvish. Red Dog says, I love that you promote other people through your videos. Red Dog, thanks, man. I figure we're all a community, so if uh, another channel grows, then, um, you know, maybe if they get big, um, maybe we'll come full circle, and after somebody watches one of their videos, maybe I'll be the next recommended video. We're all kind of connected that way. All right, so here we go. Bruce, let's see what we can find for you. I do see that might be your autograph right there. We'll see. Isaac, how's it going? Spot number 26. We've got the snakeskin Soroka, and TJ Zook is going to be the autograph in the second half of the box. Nice looking card right there. That one is numbered out of 50. Nice low number there out of 50. For Bruce, a.k.a. Doc, let's check out the rest of your cards. And then Evan is warming up in the bullpen. He's going to be coming in next. What else do we have? Trevor Bauer. Christian Yellis pulled his autograph out of Finest the other day. Got a nice Jacob DeGrom. This one is going to be numbered out of 99. Check out that one. Really nice-looking card. Luis Castillo probably won a Cy Young Award before it's all said and done. And those blues aren't numbered. Raphael Devers. Kelly said, who ended up with the Devers? Well, we don't know that yet. We're going to find that out at the end of this video. I have it all set up for the giveaway. All I have to do is 
click choose a winner and the computer system is going to go through and scan all the comments and pick one winner to get all of those cards. So Bruce, thank you very much. You are in the books. And now Evan is up. Spots 27 and 28. Pull out the next box for Evan. Nolan says, tomorrow me and my dad and brother are going to the, going, going to the batting cage to hit some baseball. It's going to have some fun. Yeah, that's a great time. That's awesome. Uh I remember the batting cage. I used to always prefer a live pitcher as opposed to the batting cages. It's just some kind of, um, I don't know, like a, a timing mechanism with me. I always hit way better off of a BP pitcher than a batting cage, for sure. Um, Star City is dying to go to the batting cages. They're fun. They're, they can be pricey, though. Definitely can be pricey. Kevin Geek says the rhythm for the machine is really weird. Tom says, I'm thinking of joining Patreon since 25 is sold out. I might do 26. My wife's all in. How about that? Tom, that's awesome. Yeah, four packs, the June packs of <clears throat> the $26 tier, which you'd still get if you sign up any, any time during the calendar month of June. We got 2016 Top Series 1. Pack of those, 2016 on Russ. What else is in there? 2019 Archives. <clears throat> I'm missing one. Uh, what's the last one? Help me out. Help me out. I can't remember. Oh, 2020 Top Series 1 Retail Pack, 16 cards. That's what's coming up. Uh, and then there's uh, four other old ones in there as well from the 80s and 90s. Jose Ramirez out of 99. Then we have, uh, what else? A Christian Pache, which is a nice one. Caleb, we have sent out all the $50 tier ones. Those are all en route. They should be getting yours soon. All right, Evan, so you got a nice Jose Ramirez, but no hits to speak of yet. Let's see what we can find. I have an inkling that you'll have an autograph in this particular pack. Daddy Daughter said he got his $50 tier package yesterday. I'm glad it made it. Donnie, I do ship to Canada if you cover the shipping because it's crazy uh, how much it costs to ship internationally. And we got a Mad Bum, and after the Mad Bum, we've got our buddy Trent Grissom. Let's see a lot of his autos recently. Trent Grissom from the San Diego Padres. There's J-Rod now on deck. You're going to be seeing him in the Mariners lineup soon. There's Gavin Lux, rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved up for you. I like that one a lot. Uh, Matt Carpenter is not numbered. Raphael Devers will be giving his auto away soon. Here comes a blue. Lord Ace Guriel. This one is out of 100. Brandon Woodruff. You, got, you love the uh, Tommy Pham? Yeah, I remember to put that in there. The Tommy Pham autograph, the dual auto. That was a, that was a fun one. <clears throat> All right, Evan, here we go with your next stack here. Is Bryce Harper rookie card in 2012 Series 2? Um, Bryce Harper rookie card. Yeah, that's a good one. You can pull that out. How about a Yu Chang, by the way? Yu Chang. Um, this one is uh, in, I, I, I guess that's Chinese. I'm not exactly sure. People always tell me to look out for Yu Chang, so that's your best auto so far. We got a super chat from Ginny and Rex says, really want a collector case of Big League. The G.I. Joe Kid and Me loves that action figure. Looking forward to your break. Glad to be here tonight. Ginny and Rex. Yeah, they have collector cases. I think there's only like five packs in there, but you get like a little figurine of a, a ball player in there as well. So, Ginny and Rex, thank you. I hope you guys will check out Ginny and Rex. And maybe I should have gotten one of those collector cases. I just figured that uh, since there wasn't a lot of cards in there, I'd pass over and I get. I probably should have ordered one of those to show you guys. There's Juan Soto out of 100. Bud said, Happy Father's Day, Eric. Hope all is well. Love your videos. Thanks, man. Had a great Father's Day today. Hopefully you had a great day also, and thanks for your support. Uh, Justin says, hey, Jabs, hope you had a good Father's Day. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, it says, my Father's was not good because my dad was having surgery because of his hernia. He's hurting. Justin, that's awful. Sorry about your dad. Hopefully you can just be there to support him and just, you know, the best thing you can do. Um, if I was having surgery, I would just want my son, kids. I'd want them right by me, so just hang out with them. And um, that's the that's the best gift you could give him is his time for sure or your time. 
John said, I just heard now that the latest proposal for baseball will be rejected. Well, that, that's terrible. I feel like every p p proposal has been rejected, and it's, um, you know, it's getting a little old. They need to get something going here. Here's our last stack, by the way, for Evan. Let's see what we can do for him. And we have Domingo Leyba, number three of the day, I think. Julio Tehran's out of 149. Domingo Leyba, auto number three to join the Yu Chang. And Trent Grissom, Jesus Lasardo will get sleeved up. Uh, Shane Bieber's a nice one. Spencer Turnbull. There's Low Kane, Christian Yelich, Reese Hoskins, Jordan Yamamoto. We've got a nice Logan Allen. That is a nice one out of 175. CJ Abrams, top pick there for the Padres. And Nelly Cruz is the last one. So, Evan, thank you very much. Your box is in the books. Any Luis Roberts yet? No, no Luis Robert cards yet. Hopefully we can find some of his. Um, we found two Bichettes, which was really awesome. Two Bichette autos, two Lux autos, Aristides Aquino auto, but no Luis Robert. All right, uh, let's see what else we can find. And Daddy Daughter says, Luis Robert has no base card in this set, only the autographs. I hope we can find one of those autos. We will see. Tyson says, do I think the King Felix is going to make it in the Hall of Fame? I would say... 100% no. I mean, he's not done yet, but if you look at his stats, he just he doesn't have the stats to be a Hall of Famer. He, he like had a nice stretch there at the beginning of his career, and the last few years it's just been kind of uh, really down for him. I don't know. Maybe he'll have a resurgence. We'll see. Sean's up right now. Spot 29 and 30. Let's see what we can find for you. Kim Geek says these prisms look really nice, but he doesn't like the lack of logos. A lot of people don't like the lack of logos. Some people can get around that and deal with it. Some people can't. To each their own. Um, whenever I first open any Panini product, I immediately notice the lack of logos. And then after I open so much of it and do like a case break, I actually stop noticing after a little while. All right, let's see what we can find now for Sean. Spot 29 and 30. Do three packs at a time. We've got 54 total spots sold, so we're over halfway done. Aiden says, I just opened a box of Diamond Kings and didn't get anything good at all. Are you serious, Aiden? That's terrible. I, I saw with Diamond Kings, everything was really well balanced, at least the boxes I opened. I'd have one crappy hit and one good hit, at least. Um, you have to let me know who your two hits were. Give me an idea of what you had there. Uh, let's see. This next door parts of Seattle Mariners completely ruined uh, King Felix's prime. Yeah, the Mariners haven't been to the playoffs since 2001. So poor King Felix never got a chance to dazzle in the playoffs. There's a Sandy Alcantara out of 75. The Mick has taken Topps Finest all day. We had some really good luck with um, Topps Finest for sure. Five Hall of Fame autos. Nolan Jones now on deck, not numbered. Danny Mendick, George Kirby, young prospect right there. Bud says, do you think Bowen prices are going to go down now so Now that the Jason Dominguez Super Fractor was pulled? Bud, I didn't even realize the Super Fractor was pulled. I'll tell you what, they're going down just because Dominguez cards are going down. Go ahead and go on eBay and look up um, the, the base paper Dominguez. When those cards first came out, I don't know if you were watching our Bowman break, but I looked up all the Dominguez cards right before the break so I could get the uh, quote of the price for you guys. The base paper was a $30 card. The Bowman Chrome Prospect of card of uh, Jason Dominguez was a $75 card, and now those cards have just lost almost all their value as opposed to what they used to be. I can't believe how much the uh, market has fallen for Dominguez there. Um, go ahead, check it out on eBay. You can go probably grab yourself a base paper for like five bucks right now. There's Paul DeYoung and Zach Gallon. The DeYoung's out of 99. Zach Gallon, 98 of 99 also. So there's a numbered Zach Gallon. And for those of you who like Bowman, it's I guess that's good news for you because now you can buy on the secondary market the Bowman Blasters for like $25 to $27 right now. Uh, used to be like when those blasters first came out, they were like $45 a piece because of all the demand for them.
KS Reds fans can't wait for Throwback Thursday. Me either. 7.27 p.m. Uh, going after Mike Trout. The 27 and 7 is um, for Mike Trout's number. It was Heather's idea, so thank her for that. And uh, I do like that idea. All right, so let's see what we can find now for Sean. That is going to be a, a crazy break. Absolutely crazy. Chris or just picked up the Dominguez Chrome two days ago for 21 bucks. So, yeah, that's a fraction of what it was. It was 75 It might even be less than that now. Market saturation. Yu Chang. Again, two Yu Chang autos within the last two boxes to join the Zach Gallon. And Dominguez paper sold today for $2.25, says Third Mill Sports Cards. I told you, the bottom has fallen out on him, Dominguez. Uh, the autos still might be worth several hundred dollars. There's the Jose Ramirez, the Super Factor, still going to pull a ton of money. But, um, yep, that's that. Uh, a lot of you guys told us it was. I remember in the in the uh, break, people said, "You just wait." Um, there's going to be a lot of unhappy investors that are snapping up all these Dominguez cards right now. There's a nice Gavin Lux. I just can't believe how fast it happened. Jordan Alvarez. All right, so let's see what we can find now. In the last stack here for Sean. Should be an autograph in there. We shall see. I don't know if Dominguez is in here or not. Um, I know he's in Prism Draft Picks, which we've done recently. There's a nice Bo Bichette rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved up for you. Here's the hit. After the Davy Gruen out of 125, it's going to be Anthony K. Auto. There he is. Dominguez is in this set, says Elliot. Okay, so thanks for checking that out for us. Maybe we'll hit him tonight. Maybe we won't. We shall see. So the three hits, Anthony K. to go along with Zach Gallon and Yu Chang. Let's check out the rest of the box. Freddie Freeman's not numbered. <clears throat> nice red prism. Uh, Dirk says, look at all the box and packs open. So there's a ton of him available. That's right, Dirk. And um, you can never find any... Bowman because everybody's buying them up and just opening like, I don't know they just a lot of people are buying those boxes just to open up then and flip the cards <clears throat> and by doing so they oversaturated the market so they just shot themselves in the foot basically that's at a 175 George Springer Semyon Baez and Jake Rogers all right so Sean yours are in the books let me go ahead and grab all your pack wrappers off my table and get them in the trash can Get your cards all situated here. And next up is going to be Steven. Spot number 31 and 32. The Card Kid, shout out to you. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you tuning in tonight. All right. Let me reach over to the next box. John says, do you know what the record is for the Beckett baseball card top 10 list at number one? Because Trout's been on that top 10 list for years. John... I feel like the 52 Mantle was probably on that list for a really, really long time, um, back in the 80s and 90s. So I, I don't know. I'm sure there's people out there that have every single edition of Beckett that could go back and tell you. I used to love buying Beckett. Do you remember buying Beckett's? Man, I used to, every month, ride my bike to the card store and go pick up the Beckett run home and just uh, lay down on the floor of my room and just go through every single page, looking over every single set because I knew who I had in every set and just seeing who went up and who went down. That was so much fun. It was like playing the stock market when you're a little kid. And um, unfortunately, all those cards went way down as there was a big bubble that crashed. But if, if you kept boxes of those old cards, now they're getting really, really tough to find. Manny Machado autograph. So Steven finds a nice one. Superstar $300 million man, Manny Machado autograph. You don't pull too many Manny Machado autos nowadays. He doesn't need the money. So uh, I can't even remember the last time I pulled a Manny Machado autograph out of a pack. Very nice one right there for Steven. Tyson says, big time hit right there. Machado struggled to hit about 260 last year. Maybe the switch of the leagues kind of, uh, you know, a little adjustment period there. 
Still a nice one right there. Manny Machado. Pete Pete says that was unexpected. Yeah, really cool. Machado right there. Bill Billups says, I hate Machado so much. <laughs> a lot of people do hate Manny Machado a lot. Uh, let's see. If you're a fan of... Who was the team that he threw his bat at? Was that the uh, the Athletics and Fernando Abad or something like that? I can't remember. Remember he was mad that he was pitched inside, so he purposely like swung and let go of the bat trying to hit Fernando Abad out there and uh, purposely spiked Dustin Pedroia. Austin Farmer says, JW cards will no longer be in the chats because of a reason that you know about. He would like you to replace his wrench. Austin Farmer, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. JW uh, cards giving it up, unfortunately. We will have to find a new, uh, new moderator to replace him. I know that... Um, Unfortunately, he's got to walk away, I guess, because of a reason. I was hoping he and uh, he would be able to resolve that, but it looks like it's still lingering, and um, we will miss him. He did a great job here for sure. But thanks for letting me know. I'll definitely try to find another moderator before the 2011 Tops update break. Let's see now what we can find for Stephen. And thank you for your support, Austin. Stephen K. All right, so we have Bo Bichette leading things off. Then we have an Edwin Rios. This is going to give way to Anthony K. out of 35. Nice Anthony K. snakeskin right there. So two autos. Got the Manny Machado and Anthony K. Uh, South Beemore says, you guys miss Manny in Baltimore. Yeah, I guess, for sure. He was a longtime Baltimore Oriole player for you guys. Big star. Bud Duca says, do I think that Michael Kopeck is going to be a nice investment? I do think so, for sure. That's out of 75. Jean Carlos Stanton, he needs to stay healthy. Uh, Shy City says, Machado could have been with my socks, but he chose the money. Shaking my head, yeah. Unfortunately, Shy City, I, the White Sox, it looked like you guys were leading it for a while. I think his brother-in-law, Yonder Alonso, was signed and everything. And uh, I don't know, just never never went through because he was all about that money, I guess. Which, uh, that's, that's his prerogative. Do I think Luis Robert will be the best card for updates at KG? He's going to be the best card in Series 2, which is coming out Friday. I... I I'm almost certain he will be in that checklist. Well, let's see what we have now coming up for Stephen Dillon's Cease rookie card. You got one more autograph coming your way. There's a nice John Moncada. Speaking of the White Sox, out of 99, Jack Flaherty. What's my best card? It's a T206 card of Cy Young, there's Castellanos, Albert Pujols, Dustin May, Aristides Aquino, rookie card, and Garrett Cole is the last one. All right, so here we go, Steven. What can we find out of your last three packs? Got one more autograph. We know that. Brian Reynolds is on the back. Uh, did I hear by what Junior and his dad signed through the mail? I didn't, I didn't know that cards and films. I, I don't do through the mail, and I should do it. Reynaldo Lopez, our second hit, or a second uh, Lopez signature. There he is. Prism Signatures, Reynaldo Lopez. Another White Sox link there as we were talking about the White Sox. I'll tell you what, in March, I would have picked the White Sox to win that Central Division. Um, I would have gone. I always like to go out on a limb and pick a a team that did terrible the year before to maybe turn around. I would have picked the White Sox and the Reds. There's Miguel Sano. This one is going to be numbered out of 100 for the Twins. Freddie Freeman, Victor Robles, Trout, and Brian Reynolds. So, Stephen, thank you very much. Your cards are in the books, so to speak. And now spot number 33 is going to Jan. Let me go ahead and get Stephen's name off the screen. Get Jan's name on the screen with Mike. So, Jan and Mike splitting... These ones up. I'm going to go ahead and just put Steven's cards right. Uh, man, without Heather, things just uh, get a little bit tough around here. Trying to find a spot for Steven's cards on the table. All right, so here we go. 
after the break, I'll be sleeving for into the wee hours of the morning, sleeving and team bagging. Uh, Dante's here. Hey, Dante says, Hey, Eric, just got back from South Hills Village, went and took my dad to our favorite restaurant down there. That's awesome, Dante. Is that card store still there at South Hills Village? It's over in the corner. I can't remember the name of it, but I remember we did a, uh, my brother and I did a video there like two years ago. Uh, I can't remember if it was like first and goal or something. Uh, I don't know. But Jan's up now with Mike. Let's see what we can find for you two. Yeah, it's, it was a nice store. I, we should probably go back and do, do another video there. Pick up some more stuff. I'm sure they have different stuff in. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. First six for Jan and next six for Mike. Get that box tossed off the screen. Spot number 33, and in the on-deck circle, we've got Jake. Dante said he went into that first and goal store a few months ago, got a box of gold label, and pulled a Raphael Devers Auto. That's a nice pull right there. Speaking of Devers Auto, we'll be giving away the Devers Auto that I got out of my finest box here shortly. We're on spot number 33. I have 54 total spots, so we are about 60% of the way done right now. Sean says, hey, Jabs, do I need to join Patreon to get into the breaks? Yes, you do. Uh, I sell all of these. Um... On Patreon only. Chip says, Happy Dad Day. One of those $50 monthly mail outs being Chip. They're already in the mail, man. Um, you should be getting yours early next week. Some folks have already got theirs. Daddy Daughter already got his. There's Bo Bichette rookie card. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I can get you the shipping number if you send me an email. If it doesn't show up um, by Tuesday, just let me know. Jonathan Daz is the next hit. Max Freed's out of 149. Check that one out. Nice looking card right there, Jonathan Daza. From the Rockies, Merrill Kelly is the next one. There's Cattell Marte, <clears throat> Clayton Kershaw, Anthony Rendon, Kevin Biggio, nice one right there. Always liked his rookie cards from 2019. Tops update. Who's my favorite MLB player? Says no one. His is Ronald Acuna Jr. That's a good one. I'm going to have to go with Mike Trout if I could pick one player that I'd like to check out there at bat. If I'm scrolling through MLB at the MLB at bat app or um, MLB.tv, and I see Trout's coming up, I will watch his at bats every time. Uh, Peter says, Hey, Jabs, I really wanted to thank you for getting me into the hobby. I never bought Gypsy Queen cards before. I gave my dad a pack of it for Father's Day. There's a Trout garment auto out of 10? <laughs> Peter, that's a crazy pool right there. Yeah, people love Gypsy Queen. Um, those boxes of Gypsy Queen are going crazy. Um, I'll tell you what, if you can find some Gypsy Queen at your store, you should snap them up. Like a blaster box of Gypsy Queen is like a $35 box now. A hobby box, which was once $99, is now like $250. Out of $175, Trey Mancini, Peter says he got that one out of a blaster. Yeah, those blasters have really gone up. Like $35 for a blaster of Gypsy Queen. Pretty crazy for sure. So we go through this stack. Let's see, what else can join that Jonathan Daza for Jan? Jan's going to have a Gavin Lux. Nice one right there. Travis Dermott. Cole Hamels. There's a Jesus Lusardo. Not numbered, but still sleepable for sure. Ali Rushman, top of the class. Uh, Justin said, okay, Jazz pop quiz. What would you like to have? A 1909 Honus Wagner, a 52 Mantle? But you can only pick one. That's an easy question, Justin. Got to go with the Honus Wagner. A lot of... Uh, more rare than the mantle, and um, that's the one I would pick. That's like the num. That's like the holy grail, I guess, of cards. But the man, I would take either of them. Like if if you were offering me and say which one do you want, I would say I, I'll take either of them. I, I don't care. That's that's an amazing, amazing uh, deal. All right, so Jan, thank you. I'm gonna get your cards taken care of, put aside. Now Mike is up. Mike, you are going to have. Two autos, it looks like. Let's see what we can find for you. Exotic says, should I grade with Beckett or PSA? I always prefer PSA, but uh, Beckett is pretty good, too. You go BGS, can't go wrong. Some people like BGS, some people like PSA. So here we go with our next pack. We've got Mike Trout right there. Uh, there's Hunter Dozier, you Darvish, Max Muncy. Austin Meadows, 
two autographs coming up. You got a snake skin of Max Scherzer, and Edwin Rios is your hit. The Scherzer's out of 50. Really tough to see because down there on his feet. 40 of 50. Edwin Rios, there's the auto for you. It is numbered out of 75. 52 of 75. Uh, Curtis says, I just got a platinum subscription to PSA for two forty nine. So you must really like getting cards graded. There's some money. If, if you know what you're doing, you could get cards graded and make a ton of money. 15 free grade, says Curtis. Uh, and then what is it after that? Is it like $8 or $10 a card after that? I, I can't remember. Uh, there's some kind of tough perk for that for sure. All right, so Mike has one auto. And uh, let's see what else we can find for him which player has my favorite signature that's a great question um i don't know off the top of my head i can't think of one that i really really like i like your on alvarez signature it's pretty nice uh Aloy jimenez has a real lazy signature uh willie calhoun might have the the worst signature that i've ever seen this is i don't even know what it is Let's see, Jesus Lusardo, rookie card. Get that one sleeved up. Juan Soto, yeah, Juan Soto's got a nice one. I like how he divides it into two different lines. Here comes a hit. It's Gavin Lux, our third Gavin Lux, and it is a blue. So, Mike, congratulations. It's out of 99, 62 of 99. How about that one, Mike? I, I think, Mike, this might be, is this your first break with us, Mike? Uh, congratulations. Beginner's luck right there. Our third Gavin Lux, and this is the best of the three Gavin Lux cards, as it is a blue out of 99. Love that Dodger blue in the background. Really goes well with that card. Congratulations on that one. A beautiful one for Mike. And those are the two autographs. So we're not going to have any more autos from this box. As we had another one from the other side. Jonathan, Jonathan Hernandez out of 100. Michael Baez, not numbered. Trout's got a nice auto as well. Jordan Yamamoto and Masahiro Tanaka for Mike. So, Mike, congratulations on that beautiful-looking Gavin Lux. Very, very nice. Uh, here's a good question. Gum says, would you rather have a PSA 1 Hannes Wagner or a PSA 9 Mantle? I'll tell you what, Caleb. You might think I'm crazy, but do I, I might go with the PSA 9 Mantle. Like, that's a super value. In that condition, that, that Mantle card, a PSA 9 has got to be worth a couple million dollars. I don't even know if there is a PSA 9 mantle out there. If there is, a, the population of PSA 9 mantle is probably like one. I, I highly doubt there's a 10. So I would pick that one for sure. Jake is up next, 35 and 36. He's got the full box. Best of luck to you, Jake. Let's see what you can find in your box of prism. Nice big old hobby box right here. Card collector, how's it going? I've ever met Christian Yelich. No, not in person. How many cases tonight? Well, see these numbers right here? These are half boxes. We're on, uh, this is 35 and 36. We're going to 54. And then some people uh, don't pay their invoices on time. Like some, I don't know, they're procrastinators. So we'll see if um, anybody paid late. Third Mill Sports Card said a PSA 9 mantle sold in 2018 for $2.8 million. With the way the card industry is going right now, that's probably like a $4 million card. So, yeah, I, I would take that one for sure. PSA 9, if you're offering. Thank you very much. All right, Jake, let's see what we have for you in your box. 35 and 36. We got Edwin Rios right there. That one's out of 99. We have a Sam Hilliard out of 75. Nice looking card. Auto for the Rockies. So that's auto number one. Devlin's got the uh, breakdown there. That's pretty crazy. There's only three PSA 10 mantles around. And there's eight PSA, uh, PSA 9. So uh, who has those PSA 10 mantles? And what are those worth? There's a very nice Michael Chavis Tiger Skin card. It's our second time seeing that one. Jesus Lusardo. Uh, I would say a PSA 10 mantle is probably like a $10 million card or so. There's Eddie Rosario out of 60. If a PSA 9 is about a $3 million card, you might be able to fetch 10 mil for that one and get some big-time collector out there to grab that. Uh, 
New Zealand Breaks is here. Said, hey, Eric, my Patreon finally arrived after being stuck in shipping due to lack of planes. So much fun to open. Best card. You got a Luis Robert first Bowman Chrome. You got a big pa uh, big poppy patch card. An A-Rod rookie card. A Randy Johnson rookie card. New Zealand Breaks. Thanks for your support. Sorry that it took so long to get there. As you know, since you're in New Zealand, I think it took... It might have cost $95 to ship that to you. Super expensive. That's why I have to let them kind of build up. Um... I'm glad it made it. I'm sorry that it takes so long to get to the other, literally the other side of the world. That's some nice stuff right there. Thanks for letting me know it got there. And I always am excited to hear what you guys find. So good stuff for sure. Thomas says, nothing like a jazz break after a long day of work. Thomas, thanks for the kind words. We are having some fun here tonight. It's 10 o'clock. We'll probably be live for maybe another hour or so. We're on, this is a nice one set out of 100. Got 54 total spots, and we have to give away a couple things at the end of the break. Yeah, Ramon Laureano, there's a nice looking Mike Trout fireworks card. Check out the back of that one. It's not numbered, unfortunately. Scott Carey's also not numbered. Happy Father's Day to you, too, Sandbar. Thank you very much for the kind words. Happy Father's Day to all those dads out there. Do I think Starling Marte will be good in Arizona? Yeah, I love Starling Marte. I think he's going to be just fine. JT, how's it going? Good evening. Here's our third pack out of that second stack. Chai City Pool said, did you have a special dinner today, Jabs? No, didn't have a special dinner today, unfortunately. I, um, I had fast food today just because we were out and about doing things. Um... But thank you for asking. Uh, Cattell Marte, that one is out of 100. Cattell Marte, there's Donnie Walton. Uh, Seattle Mariners card, our second hit of the day. AJ Puck, Joey Votto, there's Juan Soto. There's a nice Vladdy Guerrero, not numbered. A PSA 7 sold for 130000 recently. Just saw that comment scroll by. That's pretty crazy. What does a PSA 1 mantle go for? I was thinking about buying one last year, and they were like ten grand, and I didn't buy it. And I feel like that was probably a huge mistake just because um, now it's probably a twenty grand card. Da Bears is here. It says, Happy Father's Day. Da thank you very much, Da Bears. Happy Father's Day to you as well. Kelly, thank you very much. It was a nice day. Went for a hike with the kiddos and then played some wiffle ball with Heather. Still 10K for Mano PSA 1, says Chem Geek. Well, that card hasn't gone up at all then. That's good. I just want to have that card in my collection. So well, one of these days I might pull the trigger and pick it up. We shall see. All right, Jake, here's your last stack here. You have two autographs. Let's see what we can find for you. The jump is incredible. PSA 2 is a $50,000 card. I feel like that was about a $30,000 card last year. Cody Bellinger autograph. MVP Cody Bellinger is the third hit. So Jake with a big hit right there. Congratulations on that one. It's the Prism Signatures of Belly Bombs. Cody Bellinger. Add that to the top five list or so tonight. A very nice one. Cody Bellinger from the Dodgers. Ryan says, congratulations. Tyson says, big time hit right there. Like that one. Belly bombs for Jake. So, Jake, your third hit turns out to be a winner. Making your box a winner. Congratulations, man, on that hit. Let's check out the rest of your cards. Alberto Montes out of 175. Bolt's card says the boom machine has been activated. There's Fresh Fortnite who is dabbing on the Bellinger card. Very, very nice. Um, Triple B says, I bought five Mantle Autos on eBay. They look great. Great to be fake. Nice belly bombs. I, you got to be careful with those Mantle Autos. Uh, I unfortunately paid $200 for a hat that was a fake auto. <clears throat> All right. So, Jake, thank you very much. Spot 35 and 36 was a winner. Going to move on now to our next box. This is going to be divided up between William and Dawn. So let me get some of these pack wrappers out of the way. My trash cans are overflowing, but I'll just keep pressing them down as best I can. 
Uh, Brian just checked in and said, what did I miss? Well, you just missed a Cody Bellinger autograph, three Gavin Lux autographs, two Bo Bichette's. We had an Aristides Aquino. We had a Glaber Torres auto. So we've been pulling some nice stuff tonight. And uh, we are hoping to keep it going here with 37 and 38. Hits only. Thanks, man. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Uh, Shy City Pool says, where is Heather when you need her? She will be back tomorrow. All right, so let's get this box opened up. One, two, three, four, five, six for William. And the next six we will be giving to Don. There's Daddy Daughter with hits only. If you'd like to check him out, he's up over 300 subscribers now. Please go and support his channel. Uh, Justin said, there's only three PSA 10 Mickey Mantles. One sold for $10 million. Yeah, I figured that it would be around $10 million if the PSA 9 was a $3 million card. That is pretty crazy. Um, whoever bought that, obviously, is a uh, big time. It's got a big bankroll for sure. I wonder if it was Dimitri Young. I wonder if he ever spent that much on a card. Dimitri Young used to buy all kind of PSA 10 cards. And I think he had to sell them all off. Imagine if he would have held on to them. They all probably like quadrupled in value or more. There's a nice Mike Trout card right there. Check that one out. That's out of 149 for William. Beautiful card right there. That's People love these uh, Prism. Um, love those. Kelly says, I love how Jabs isn't so selfish. He bans people for self-promoting. Uh, but yet he wants other people to shine with him. Much respect. Kelly, thanks. Um, I figure we're all a community, so it, um, maybe all these other channels, as they grow, they can bring in people to the hobby that I haven't been able to reach. And, uh, you know kind of like trickle down effect they bring in some people and those people might find their way to my channel someday i don't know so i i figure we should bring everybody in um i know that some breakers don't allow you to self-promote because they're afraid of losing your business so like for example if uh i would go into another breaker stream and be like oh yeah i'm doing this tomorrow on my channel i would get banned from that because they don't want to lose business to other breakers but you know what we're all a community, so I, I really have no problem with shouting people out and helping people grow. There's Christian Yelich, Logan Allen's the hit coming up. First auto of the box for William. Nice looking Logan Allen. It is numbered out of 75, 20 of 75. Mandel is in his rookie card. That's right, Jacob. His rookie card's 51 Bowman. 52 is his first tops card. There's a Tatis Jr., Sonny Gray, Dallas Keuchel, Sam Hilliard. What else we got? Hunter Dozier. That is a nice one right there. You, Darvish, Max, Muncie, Howie Kendrick. Here comes the uh, Lorenzo Kane out of 175. I almost said here comes the hit, but it's not going to be a hit coming up. Looks like the hits are going to be in the second half of the box, at least the other two. So, William, that is your packs. Congrats on the Logan Allen and the nice Mike. My favorite card from your half of the box was that nice Mike Trout. I've ever pulled a Bartola Cologne autograph. Trying to think if I have or not. Um, I don't know. We need Todd in here right now. Todd has like such a great memory for what I've pulled. Um, I don't know that I have off the top of my head. All right, Cooper, how's it going? Next side, it's, this one's going to Don. Best of luck to you, Don. The home run he hit was literally the greatest moment of all time, says Chem Geek. The Bartolo Cologne home run out in San Diego. <laughs> that was a funny one for sure. Yeah, Bartolo Cologne. I wish he was still playing. Valued Collector. What is this? It is a redemption. Let's go ahead and see who it is. Use Tommy Pham as our cover boy. All right, so we have a rookie autographs, Forest Green Flash, Prism Auto. I hope this is your Don Alvarez. That would be pretty awesome. Someone said that uh, Jason Dominguez is also a redemption in the set, but I don't know if he's, he wouldn't be considered a rookie. He'd be considered a prospect. So let's hope for your Don Alvarez. It is going to be Yoshitomo Sutsugo, who is the Japanese import. Uh, to the Tampa Bay Rays. So we have a redemption card. You're just going to scratch that off. Type that code in that website right there, Don, and they will send you your Sutsugo autograph card in the mail. It is a numbered green parallel, though, which is nice. Now let's see what else we have. The nice Pete Alonso. This one is going to be 
out of 175, kind of hidden in his jersey right there. The reds aren't numbered. And you should have another hit coming to go with your Sutsugo. We have to ask Last Raps about Sutsugo. He would know all about him. He's like the Japanese League guru. Here we go. Three more packs for you, Don. Let's see what we can find. Glory Day says, I swear every pack that I open uh, has a Ken Giles. Sandbar says, I'm pretty loyal to the Jabs when, family when it comes to breaks. I watched others, and no other, in my opinion, have the knowledge and sincerity of the craft and sport. Sandbar Sofa, thanks, man. Those are very kind words. I appreciate uh, the support. There's a nice Beau Bichette. And then we have another hit. It's Sheldon Noisy. It's after the Illumination numbered out of 75 Rendon. This one is going to be a Sheldon Noisy out of 50. So that's your second hit. So that's all the hits from the box. So you got Sitsuga Noisy. That's not too bad. Jordan Alvarez. That is a nice one. Eternal Gamer just joined the Patreon page. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Check out the recent posts if you're interested in any breaks. We still have spots of Big League and 2011. Tops update filling right now. Um, at last check, just so you know, 2011 Tops update. We're at 93 out of the 124 spots that are filled. So that's probably going to close down within the next day or so. And Big League, we are about 50% full on that. So... Um, I figure with Big League, if uh, it doesn't sell out, I'll just take the packs and use them in next month's Patreon package as one of the newer packs that I put in there. What else do we have? There's Josh Hader's the last one. Almost looks like he's in a um, Marlins, like a 90, 1993 Marlins uniform right there with that color hat on. That's why uh, sometimes the uh, lack of logos really hurts the look of the card. So, Don, thank you very much. Uh, I see a question there from... Jacob, will Tops release a big league complete set? I don't think so. I think you have to put that together yourself. It's not like um, how they release the factory set every year, which comes out this year on July 1st, I think. You know how you can go to Target and pick up that entire factory set? They don't do that for big league. I mean, you could probably just buy one off of eBay. I don't, I don't know how much it's going to cost you. Probably like 40 50 bucks. Who knows? A lot of good rookies in big league. Shane and Robert are up next. They've got spot number 39 and 40. So here's your fresh box. Let's see what we can find now for you. Chem Geek says, do I ever open crap wax packs just for fun? I'm actually thinking about doing a video about that. Um, just opening some packs and doing some crazy challenges with them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost like a box war, but kind of like... Not really. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so Shane and Robert, you guys are up now. Heather, if you were here right now, you'd be very disappointed in me. Um, I have a big pile of trash behind me on the ground. It's <laughs> just because my, my garbage cans are overflowing. So I'm planning on smashing all the boxes down and uh, fitting them into a trash bag. Don't worry, I'll get it cleaned out before tomorrow because otherwise there'd be no easy way for you to walk back in here. All right, Shane, spot 39. What can we find for you? Matt Carpenter, those ones aren't numbered. Uh, Amazing Sports Mix is putting an auto watch out there, Sean and I. We'll see. I always sleep up Jesus Lusardo. Uh, Heather says, come over after, and I'll help you clean it tomorrow. So, Heather, are you sure it's not too late to come over? Because if so, uh, I'll be there. There's Rico Garcia out of 175. Devlin said he would take that deal. Looks like I'm going over to Heather's tonight. Walker Bueller, Zach Gallen, uh, Aaron Nola. <laughs> uh, Janine says, don't pass that up, Javs. We've got Drew Waters, Austin Meadows. Uh, J. Bob and Son says, Jabs got my Patreon package. It was perfect. Thanks, man. Looking forward to Trouty Thursday, J. Bob and Sons. Thank you very much. I can't wait for uh, Thursday either. Um, it's going to be a fun one. I'm glad you got your Patreon package in the mail. And uh, I really appreciate your support. I hope you guys will check out J. Bob and Sons. I know that last month he was doing a box war with the 93 Donruss. I 
think the fifty dollars ones this so this uh, month you guys got eighty eight tops in there, a wax box of those. There's Daddy Dollar with the link if you'd like to check his channel out. Here comes a hit after the Brandon Woodruff. It is going to be Alberto Mondesi. The Woodruff is out of fifty. Two more episodes left on that. Alberto Mondesi, nice hit right there for Shane. Like that one a lot. Brian says love your content. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see what else we have. There's Bobby Bradley, Luis Castillo, Eddie Rosario. We have Max Freed. Um, there's Corey Kluber. Cool Kid said, I was watching your finest video. You said you were opening this on Sunday, and here I am. So, Cool Kids, true to his word. Um, I guess you made it a note to come here. I'm glad that you are here. Thanks for joining us. About ready to see another hit or two come out of this box. Shane found the Alberto Mondesi. That's his six packs. Brian Z is here. Says pick up a coffee for Heather on the way over. Thank you very much, Heather. Did you have your coffee today? If not, I I can swing by McDonald's and get that iced coffee for you. Thank you very very much for that, Brian Z. We'll see if Heather responds. If she's still awake, she's definitely still awake. Chem Geek says it's a bit late for coffee, probably. You never know. Uh, I feel like people that like coffee could drink it at any time. Uh, Heather says, I didn't have it, but maybe I should wait until tomorrow. So I, would it keep you up, Heather, if you drank it um, right before bed? I know the caffeine is in there. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how that affects you, though. There's Jordan Yamamoto. That's, I think, our second one of his. That's our... Second auto from this box, so Robert gets the Yamamoto. Amber is here. Amber says, hey, Jabs, any big pulls? Uh, well, we had, what, three Gavin Lux autos, two Bo Bichette's. We had Aristides Aquino. We had Cody Bellinger. Uh, we had Glaber Torres autos. There's a nice Danny Santana out of 100. So, yeah, we've had some nice pulls tonight so far. And uh, we haven't even finished off our second case yet. Uh, but we're getting there. We're about two-thirds of the way down through our second case. Looking for the next autograph. Uh, Fernando Tatis and Omar Nevaez. All right, so Robert, you're going to have another autograph coming up now. Let's see who it is. What are the top rookies for Series 2 on Friday? Asked Nick. Well, Luis Robert for sure. And then after that, I haven't looked at the checklist yet to know. Junior Baseball Fanatic 12 says, My dad said he would buy me a hobby box of my choice when I hit 70 subscribers. I'm at 52 right now. Let's get him there. Junior Baseball Fanatic needs a few more subs. Let's get him to 70 subscribers to force his dad to get him a hobby box. And then once you hit 70 Junior Baseball Fanatic, you have to let us know what box you chose. Um, hopefully for your dad's sake, you don't pick a hobby box of diamond icons. <laughs> Otherwise he's going to regret that offer. There's a Yachty out of 149. Isan Diaz autograph, snake skin auto right there. That's a nice one out of 35. So someone can let us know this. He's at 54 right now. Junior baseball fanatic. If I don't know if Heather has dropped the link in there yet, Heather or daddy daughter, but when they do, uh, make sure you get on over there and, Check him out. There's a very nice Bryce Harper Prism green card. Not numbered, but a nice one for sure. There's Daddy Daughter with the link. So there you go, guys. Click on Daddy Daughter's link to go to Junior Baseball Fanatics page. Get him to 70 subscribers. And his dad might be watching right now. Now he's probably all nervous. Dad, a, a box of uh, Diamond Icons is a $2,500 box. And uh, maybe he will go out and pick a hobby box of 2011 Tops Update. Those are like, uh, I don't know, like five, six grand for a hobby, 10 grand for a jumbo. <laughs> Eternal Gamer says, hey, Javs, just joined Patreon. Love the videos. Eternal Gamer, thank you very much for signing up. Check out all the posts over there and see if there's any breaks you want to get in, or you can just watch all the Patreon-exclusive videos. I appreciate the support, and thank you very much for the super chat. And Robert, thank you. Uh, he's at 78 now, so there we go. Kelly says the uh, junior baseball fanatic, you got to let us know what hobby box you're going to make your dad buy you. And uh, also let us know what his response is. Maybe you should kind of prank him first with uh, Diamond Icons and have him look that one up. Did he give you a, a limit? Did he say, I'll buy you any box for under $100 or something like that? If he's going to put you in the, in the uh, I don't know, the $70 range, I'm trying to think what, what you should get for $70. There's not a whole lot of hobby boxes you can get for $70 anymore. 
Carl K's up right now. He's got a full box. Spots 41 and 42. Let's see if we can find for you. In your spot. Here's that next box. Best of luck to you. Oh, there it is. So this is Dad speaking. I guess I should say thank you. It is a $200 limit. That's still very generous. A two hundred. You can do a lot with $200, Junior Baseball Fanatic. So what do you guys think he should get? His dad is going to give him $200 for a hobby box because he reached 70 subscribers. I think he actually blew past that. He's probably up to 80. He might even hit 100. Maybe when people watch the rewatch uh, tomorrow morning, some folks will get on there and subscribe. You might see your number trickle up a little bit over the next day or two. Um, I'll just know what you choose. You could go three hobby boxes. You could go like uh, two pro debuts and a big league. You could go with a. You could get a box of this for two hundred. You can get two diamond kings in a big league. All right, Carl. Let's see what we can do for you. Two hundred dollars is left. Twenty eighteen tops update. You're not going to be able to get that. Uh, unfortunately, those are like four or five hundred dollars for a hobby box now, or even more than that. I haven't looked at the price of that for a little while. All right. So clearly authentic. Those are like uh, I forget seventies dollars a box or something like that i have to look what those are going for uh nikki says can't click on people's channels from the super chats anymore am i the only one nikki they removed that feature um we dropped the links in there now so after someone super chats uh, one of the moderators uh, usually it's daddy daughter or heather drops the link in there so you can get to you can still get to the channels uh, i used to have to give us a minute to uh, copy and paste their link into the chat but yeah youtube did remove that all right, so let's see what we can find in Carl's box. There's a nice Bo Bichette, and Nick Solak's going to be hit. The Bichette is out of 75, Nick Solak. The rookie card auto is a nice one, so that's the first hit for you. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Uh, Junior Baseball Fanatic says, You guys are great. Such a nice community. My son is a big fan of Jabs. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope your son gets, uh, gets a nice box and gets some nice hits in there. Let us know what he finds. You could probably buy you could buy like five boxes of big leagues with with two hundred. Uh, Jose Abreu right there. That's about forty dollars a box. Gypsy Queen Hobby box is two hundred. Says Ginny. That's you know that would take up his entire budget. So he's got a lot to think about. There's Reese Hoskins out of ninety nine. Jorge Soler, Cattell Marte, Matt Carpenter, and Mitch Garver. Yes, Jeremy. These are one ninety five a box plus tax and shipping on all the big websites. Uh, so yeah, $200 a box for these. All right, next pack up. Top's Finest is a nice box, Bruce. I do agree. Tiger Trading Cards, I can read that. So hello to you. Thanks for being here. And Big League is pretty nice. We're going to be doing a lot of Big League tomorrow. So um, I'm hoping we can find some nice autos in there. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be one auto every three boxes or so. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to have a counter of how many autos we find. We'll divide it out by how many boxes we open. We'll get a kind of a rough estimate of what the breakdown is for autographs. I mean, you can also just figure it out by the odds on the back of the pack, but it's more fun to do it in person. Patrick Sandoval, that one's going to be numbered out of 149. Lewis Thorpe, Aloy Jimenez, uh, Jorge Soler, Pete Alonso. Let's see what else. We have Matt Olson, Gavin Lux, rookie card. Senor Tops is here. Hey, Senor Tops. Thank you very much. Hope you guys check out Senor Tops' channel. Thank you for supporting my channel, Senor Tops. There's Daddy Daughter with the link. If you'd like to check him out, help his channel grow. Uh, any good cards out of Prism yet, says Muscle Babies. Yeah, we've pulled some nice autographs so far. I've run them down a bunch of times. Uh, lots of good rookie autos so far. No Hall of Famers yet. Our biggest, quote-unquote, biggest name so far for a veteran player has been a Bellinger auto. We also found Glaber, who's not far behind him. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we can find in Carl's next stack of cards here. Here comes a hit. It is Matt Theis. Matt Theis, Marco Gonzalez out of 100. No Acuna's yet. Matt Theis, <clears throat> Josh Young, Fernando Tatis Jr. What else do we have? Matt Olson, Jake Fraley, not numbered. There's another J-Rod right there. Ramon Laureano, 
We've got Mike Trout Green. That's always nice. How many more boxes are left? Elliot, well, we've got a grand total of, uh, what did I say, 54 spots, and we are finishing up spot 42. <clears throat> so we shall see. There's Shohei Otani at the back of that one, and Jeff McNeil right there. So let's see what we can find the rest of the way. How about we find a Luis Robert? So there we go, our first Luis Robert of the entire break. He doesn't have a base card. He only has an auto. And there he is. We were waiting for this one. So we found Luis Roberts' rookie auto. We found three Gavin Lux rookie autos. We found Aristides Aquino rookie auto. What, two or three Bichette autos. So we are finding the big rookie autos. And there we go right there. Ryan says, awesome hit. Luis Robert, who is quickly becoming the hottest rookie in the hobby. Uh, I, I really hope, I wish baseball was going on right now so we could see what this guy's all about. Uh, very, very nice. There he is, says Brent. Carl, Carl was like, uh, what'd you say, Carl, on Patreon? You're like, you know what? For, like, I think you were going to forget about the box because in your select box, they shorted you a hit. And you're like, you know what? Ah, forget about it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to buy a box of uh, Prism and see what happens. And how about that? Good thing you did because you pulled a nice Lisa Robert autograph. Uh, arguably the best autograph of the night so far. People are going to love that one. Carl K., if you're in here right now, congratulations. Ginny and Rex at the Super Chat says, Well, now I'm awake. Ginny, and thank you very much for the support. Very, very nice, Luis Robert. That is a nice one. Shy City pulls with the heart emoji eyes coming out of the head. There's Bo Bichette. So Carl with the best hit of the night right there in some people's opinion. Other folks will probably say the Bellinger or the Glaber was the best one. There's Shy City pulls. If you'd like to check out Shy City pulls, make sure you do so. I appreciate the support. Those heart eyes. Very, very nice card right there. Here's the rest of your cards. Just some base cards right there. So Carl K with the big time hit right there. And uh, I haven't sent your Patreon package yet. So this will be in your June Patreon package, Carl. Um, I soon be sending that this week. And Carl says, yeah, I was wondering after the first two autos. <laughs> Carl's like, dang it. Did I uh, get the uh, short end of the stick again on another Panini product? Not this time. Nice. Luis Robert. So, time for the next box. Let me grab some of these wrappers and get them out of the way. All right. So, Anthony's up now. He's got a full box, 43 and 44. Let's see what we can find for you. Is he going to be like Jordan Alvarez? Well, he's supposed to be a power and speed guy, and he was an early favorite to win Rookie of the Year. I mean, the season hasn't started. A lot of people... That predicted awards and stuff said Luis Robert, Rookie of the Year. Daddy Sasquatch is here. Says, been watching all night on the big screen. Thought I would jump on here and say happy Father's Day and God bless all you dads. Daddy Sasquatch, thank you very much for the support. Happy Father's Day to you as well. Thanks for watching tonight. There's Daddy Daughter Card Breaks has Daddy Sasquatch's link right there. Make sure that you check out Daddy Sasquatch's Dwayne's channel. And yes, happy Father's Day to everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. And Bill Billups just joined Patreon. Thanks, man. Can't wait for your first break. Check out the post section. There's uh, breaks filling right now. Uh, if you'd like to participate in Big League tomorrow or Tops Update on Thursday, those are filling. The, uh, the update will probably sell out sometime tomorrow. Uh, it's about 80% filled. All right, so here we go. Anthony C. got a Chapman out of 60. There's a Cindergard red. Jeff McNeil. Uh, you say Kikuchi. What else do we have? There's Zach Thompson, JT Rail Muto, Freddie Freeman, and your Don Alvarez is the last card in our first stack of three packs. Let's go to the next stack and see what we can find for Anthony. On deck, Raymond is. In the bullpen, so to speak. We'll see what we can find for you. Let's get this next pack opened up. What's my favorite break, asked Brian. I'll tell you what, I like the, I like Clearly Authentic and I like Signature Series a lot. Those are always fun because it's a one-card 
uh, hit. It's like buying a lottery ticket. But those, especially with Signature Series, it's really like buying a lottery ticket. There's 20 boxes per case, and usually there's like one really, really super good card per case, and then there's like uh, maybe like three or four uh, really good ones, and you might have like 10 to 12 Met autos. There's a nice Matt Theis, and your hit is going to be Brian Abreu from the Houston Astros. I don't even know what he just wrote there. It looks like a B and then a lazy portion of a capital uh, A, the curse of A, uh, BL. Uh, Brian Abreu, you big fan of Big League, I guess. Lazy, lazy signature. Uh, Chem Geek says, yikes, worst auto ever. <laughs> yeah, check out Willie Calhoun's auto. It's the same class. Alo Jimenez has, has a pretty bad one, too. All right, so first auto is in the books for Anthony. Let's see what else we can find. There's a Brian Reynolds from the Buccos. That one's going to be numbered out of 100. Bryce Harper, the Blues aren't numbered. Nice card. Vladdy Guerrero Jr., then Jake Rogers. This is case number two, Michael. This is, we have, uh, let me see, two more boxes left in case number two. How much does a box of these cost, Hayden? Roughly $200 for a box of Prism. Let's see what we can find in this next pack. For Anthony, one auto in the books, two more autos coming. Is he going to find a big time rookie auto? I would like to find you a Jordan Alvarez autograph. And uh, instead, we're going to find Randy Arazarena. Really? How about that signature? So we've got. From one extreme to the other, Brian Abreu looks like, uh, I don't know, he tried to get all of his cards signed in maybe like five minutes. And Randy Arazarena looks like he might have put like, I don't know, a big long inscription on there too. That is a very, very in-depth signature right there. like that one a lot. <laughs> Ryan says, that is a wild signature. And ChemGeek says, looks like an ancient ruin right there. Some hieroglyphics and all kinds of stuff going on. Randy Arazarena, I like your signature, man. That's uh, a heck of a lot better than BL's signature, Brian Abreu. <laughs> Very nice. Let's see what else we get. This Gavin Lux. We'll get that one sleeved up for Anthony. One more hit coming. Let's see who it is. Sean Manai is out of 149. Uh, there's Kibut Ruiz, Travis Dermott, Dylan Cease, and Bryce Harper, instant impact card. So your autograph's going to be coming out of your last three. What do I think of Nick Gonzalez? Well, I'm I'm excited about him. NCAA batting champion. That would be pretty nice to have an offensive-type player. Usually the Pirates seem to pick pitchers with their top picks. Scotty Arms, how's it going? Thanks for checking in tonight. Here's Anthony's last stack. Autographs should be coming up. Avisiel Garcia, I see, in there. He's kind of faded out a little bit. Here it comes. Keston here at green gives way to Sean Murphy. The green's out of 125. Sean Murphy, red parallel. A rookie card right there is the last one. Ace fans are high on Sean Murphy. There's an Aquino. What else do we have? Danny Duffy. That is a normal autograph. Yeah, that looks pretty normal. So we had uh, we had all. The whole spectrum of autographs in here. We had this extremely lazy, extreme, extremely detailed, and just your everyday run-of-the-mill autograph coming out of this box. Last card there is going to be a Visael Garcia for Anthony. So, Anthony, thank you very much. Get your cards all taken care of. And um, moving on now, it's Raymond's turn. Spot number 45 and 46. Let's see what we can do. For you, Drew says, Eric, by the way, having the same wallet for 15 years isn't as easy as it looks. I should I should pull my wallet onto the screen and show you. Uh, it's all beaten up and tattered. and I don't know what I was thinking. It's a trifold wallet, which I hate trifold wallets. Like, how do I have a trifold wallet for, like, 15 years? All your bills are, like, all, like, like creased up all weird when you go to pay. And if you have to, like, ever get change in the dollar machine, it's, like, impossible because of the extra folds in your bill. So... Heather got me a bifold wallet for my uh, for Father's Day, and I'm very excited about that. Um, can't wait to get all the cards, and uh, I gotta take all the receipts out. I have a, I do kind of have a George Costanza type wallet. All right, here he is, 
Raymond, let's see what we can find for you. He just said, let's go, Eric. Pull me some winners. I'll try. Here we go. Spot 45 and 46. Here's all of your packs. Get them all taken out, put on the screen. Get this box out of the way. <laughs> cool kid says, I can't tell by the box. Is that a hobby box? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Here's what he's talking about. I'll just pull the next box out. They put it in like size 72 font on the front of the box. Hobby, super big. All right, so Raymond, let's see what we can find now for you. Spot 45 and 46. In our next to last box in case number two, you say Kikuchi is not numbered. Fake me out, Matt Thice. Dylan Cease is numbered out of 75. That's a nice one. Dylan Cease, like that one a lot. I'm putting him in my top 10 rookie cards. So, Raymond, that's a nice hit right there. We'll see what the other two hits are that are going to join that one. There's Joe Palumbo, Shohei Otani, Domingo Leyba. Uh, what else do we have? It'd be nice. There's Jesus Lusardo. We'll get that one sleeved up for you. Trey Mancini, not numbered. Looks like you may have a hot box for uh, all these extra hollow um, parallels we're seeing in here. It's like two extras per pack, which is nice. Seen a bunch of those. All right, here we go. Next, bets pool tonight. A lot of folks are going to say the Luis Robert that just came out. Also pulled three Gavin Lux autos, two Bo Bichettes, at least two Bo Bichettes, maybe three. One Aristides Aquino. Hey, T-Dog says, greetings from sunny Bermuda. T-Dog is... Uh, Met, he mentioned going away to Bermuda, so um, you are definitely a lucky guy for sure. Golfing in Bermuda. David Dahl, yeah, we do have all these extra parallels in here. El Canon is here as well. Jose Urquide, how's it going, El Canon? That's our next hit. That one is going to be one of those out of 25, 21 of 25 parallels. Nice, it is a hot box. All the extra parallels, so congratulations, Raymond, on getting all the uh, orange, red, or I don't even know what these parallels are called, red, orange. They're not numbered, but they're nice prism parallels nonetheless. Getting like two per pack, it seems. Here comes the next one, Scott Kingery. That one's going to be numbered out of 175. Bellinger. Here till October. Hopefully we'll win some money. That's a nice long run. So how about that for work? Being being stationed in Bermuda. That's awesome, man. All right, Raymond I, 45 and 46. Let's see what we can find for you and your next. Yeah, one more hit coming. There's a nice Bo Bichette. Got to get this one sleeved up for you. Redbeard said to wish everyone in the break good luck tonight. And uh, El Canone pulled an out of 10 from Dave Durango. That's really awesome. And the mess of things says, getting Casper's hot dogs. Ever come? Got to try them. I've never heard of Casper's hot dog. It must be a regional thing out there in California. Uh, Casper's hot dogs. I'll have to make a note of that. I do love um, hot dogs, especially grilled hot dogs. Pete Alonso. Um, Heather makes it an amazing uh, fire-grilled hot dog. Only had that once, Heather. I'm really hungry for those now. I'll have to do that again sometime. There's Gavin Lux, Rico Garcia, and Yu Chang. All right, so Raymond, let's see what else we can have for you from your box. Brian says, what's your favorite break? Uh, I think I answered that question already. I like clearly authentic. I like the one card breaks. They're like lottery ticks. And I like the high end stuff too. But anything's fun to do, really. Ronald Acuna Jr. That's a nice looking card out of 99. Very, very nice. And the other hit, it's going to be Edgar Garcia from the Phillies. So Edgar Garcia is your third hit, Raymond. So no huge name. Well, I guess Dylan Cease is a big name. There's another Dylan Cease. Dylan Cease was your best card, but you do have a hot box with a whole bunch of um, parallels coming your way, which is nice. Dustin May, rookie card. There's a Ronald Bolanos. That one's numbered out of 149. Pete Alonso, blue. Aristides Aquino. 
And the last card is going to be Willie Castro for Raymond. So, Raymond, congratulations on the cease. And now it's time for our last box of case two before moving into case three. Red beer breaks from 84. Eh? I used to pass through 84 all the time on the way to and from college off of I-70. I know exactly where that is. All right, so here's the next box, final box of case number um, two, Agile Collector. Let me go ahead and put Raymond's cards away. All right, Chris, you're up first. You've got the left-hand side. And Caleb, whoa, a mess of things. Your membership color literally just changed color like during the live stream. That's awesome, man. I got to uh, figure out some more extra perks for the uh, members. Like, uh, I guess I can make, like, I can upload JPEGs and stuff that you guys can post. And um, I don't know, I got to think of what would be some good pictures to upload. All right, so Agile, Collector, and Caleb. Let's see what we can find now. Chris is up first. Start with his, and then we'll be moving on to case three here. John Wathen. Yeah, that's true. I could put Wathen and Moses up there. Get these three. Team logo would be a cool one. I think I only get... They have like a weird a rubric of how many JPEGs you can upload. I think with my amount of subscribers, I get like 16 that I could upload or something like that. So I couldn't do every team. I think the most you can get is like 50, but you have to have like millions of subscribers to get that many. It's a weird rubric. I was just kind of poking around that section the other day. Here's a nice one for Agile Collector. It is AJ Puck. Very, very nice. AJ Puck rookie card. Auto. Nice one for sure. Congratulations on that one, Chris. Another AJ Puck. One of the best rookie cards. In the 2020 class, nice green Mike Trout card. Let's check out the back of this bad boy. That's out of 125. Um, John Carlos Stanton, Justin Dunn, Keston Hira. There's Sandy Alcantara. Do the players get paid if they don't play games? I don't think so. I think they. I don't think they would get. I mean, they may try to file a grievance uh, to get some money, but I think that. Uh, if, there's no season. There there will be no money paid out. All right. So, Chris, here's your next stack. Chris got the, the first half of this box. Is my next break full? No. There's still spots open for 2011 Tops Update and also the Big League. Big League is about 50% filled. Tops Update is like 80% filled. Justin Dunn versus Frankie Lindor. Justin Dunn from the Mariners. There's his sign. It looks like it's JD with his number there, 35. Almost looks like 38. Top of the class, Quinn Priester card again. So, Bo Bichette. I know that uh, Caleb is standing by hoping there's not a third auto because he wants to have at least one auto come his way. So far, from everybody that's split up the cases, there hasn't been one person that has taken all three autos. There's Raphael Devers out of 35. We'll be giving his autograph away shortly after spot number 54 and we are on spot number 48 right now so agile collector thank you very much congrats on the aj puck autograph and now it's time to move on to caleb's portion of the break to try to find a little piece of real estate for agile collector justin yeah had all four kids today had them all weekend and um had an awesome weekend with them all right, Caleb, let's see what we can find for you. There will be an autograph coming. We do know that. Autograph incoming for sure. Happy Father's Day to you too, Adrian. Thank you very much. Again, if you're just joining us, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. All right, Caleb, let's see what we can find for you. There's a nice catch in here. These aren't numbered, by the way. Those quote-unquote silver-type prism cards. Eddie Rosario will be numbered, though. There's the back. It's out of 99. Uh, Jesus Lusardo. 
Hey, T Dog, do you guys have baseball cards down in Bermuda? It just popped into my mind. Like, I'm, I'm assuming there still might be Walmart and stuff down there. Do they carry baseball cards? Have you had a chance to go out and look yet? That'd be funny if it's um, like nobody collects cards there and it's just like a baseball card bonanza for you and you're just like going into every store and cleaning out all the Bowman and all the mega boxes and there's just like mosaic basketball on all the shelves. That would be pretty funny. You'd see people start booking flights down to Bermuda just for cards if that got out. All right, so Cooper, or Caleb, we're still looking for, Cooper says, hey, Caleb, we're looking for your last auto. Uh, Cheetah says, I hope a Tiger Stripe parallel is pulled in this box. We already pulled two of those. Like roughly one per case. They aren't numbered, though. They should be numbered. So here we go. Caleb, let's see what we can find for you. Here comes your hit after the Robbie Ray. It is going to be Albert Alzale. Robbie Ray out of 99. Albert, how about that? What is that? Albert Alzale with another lazy signature. I don't even know what that is supposed to be. Is that just one capital A? Hieroglyphics? Some lazy signatures tonight, and that might take the cake. Actually, the Brian um, Abreu BL probably takes the cake. Bobby Carr breaks. You do have to be a Patreon member to join the breaks. Uh, the link is in the description if you'd like to check it out. It's $0.10 cents a day, $3 per month. There's Reese Hoskins out of 125 JT Realmuto and Clevenger is the last one. Have we decided on the new Cedric Mullins for 2020? As Ryan Mans. Well, there's Eddie Daughter with the link to Patreon if you'd like to check it out and sign up. I'm going to put Jordan Yamamoto. I'm going to nominate him right now. Any other nominations for the new Cedric Mullins of 2020? Abraham Toro would be another good nomination. Anthony K is a nominee. A T Dog says, I was at the grocery store today. They sell cards, and yes, all the Bowman and Mosaic were sold out. Happens here too, even in Bermuda. So that's pretty funny. It's I guess wherever you go, you can't find those cards. Uh a mess of things says mustard and onion parallel. Uh we st still talking about the hot dog store. Um you're you're making me really hungry for hot dogs. I, I had I don't know, I just had terrible food today. I had fast food three times today. And I could really go for a nice flame-broiled hot dog right now. Um, William, Bill Seitz is up. Bill, best of luck to you. 49 and 50. And you have a brand new case. Toss that box on out of here. Empty box. And now here's yours. You have this entire box all to yourself. Let's see what we can find for you. All right, so... Bill has been a long-time watcher of the channel. And I hope he pulls something big here. Brand new case. Let's see if case three has some good hits in it. First two definitely did. Yamamoto is really good. He can't be a nominee, says Scotty. So Scotty's a Marlins fan, and he knows all about uh, Yamamoto. So, uh, okay. Anthony K. Who else? Trent Grissom. How do you join the giveaway for Devers? Park, I'm just going to choose one random commenter from that video. And he's also the nicest player you've met. Well, that's cool. It's, I'm glad he's a nice guy, for sure. I always like uh, interacting with players at the ballpark that, you know, took the time out of their, their day to interact. How about another Manny Machado? Our second Manny Machado. So a nice hit there for Bill. So, Bill... I was just saying when we pulled this Machado last time, I haven't seen too many Machados sign, uh, sign cards um, coming up. And a very nice Manny Machado. He got a little ink on the back because Machado might have rushed the signatures that let them uh, dry for the allotted time. But very nice one still. Manny Machado auto for Bill. A nice hit in his box. So that's a way to start things off. It got a nice snake skin out of 50 Chris Bryant numbers game. And very nice. You're on Alvarez red. We'll get that one sleeved up for you. And let's see what else we have for Bill. Yes, Monty Grandall. He's going to have Bill's get. We'll get all three autos from this box.
And then Drew says, Machado's attitude keeps him from collecting him. Yeah, Machado talking. He had the whole Johnny Hustle comment. What was that, like two years ago? Then what do you want me to be, Johnny Hustle? Yeah, I don't like his attitude either, but he is a good player. And maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe he will mature. You never know. So let's see what we have. Daddy Daughter Car Breaks says, get Heather a muffin for her coffee tomorrow. Daddy Daughter Car Breaks, thank you very much. Uh, I think Heather and I are going out early in the morning tomorrow. I, I have a, a procedure at the hospital, and she's going to be joining me for that. And uh, it's at 7 a.m. tomorrow, so we can we'll probably get breakfast afterwards because I'm not allowed to eat before then. Just a routine uh, ultrasound. So here we go. TJ Zook is the hit after Garrett Cole out of 60. TJ Zook, and it looks like he's a junior, so didn't know that. Machado and Zook. What else do we have? Uh, Lorenzo Kane. There's Colton Wong. Thanks, Shy City. Appreciate that. Jesus Lusardo is a good one. Kevin Biggio. We have a nice cracked ice, Mike Yastrzemski. And Triple B said, I missed a super chat. What did I miss? Uh, I got Daddy Daughter to mention that. I hope you guys will check out Daddy Daughter's channel if you haven't already. Daddy Daughter, make sure you, you put your own link in there. I think we got everybody, didn't we, uh, Triple B? I'm not sure exactly which one you're talking about unless it somehow got deleted. There's Mike Yastrzemski. <clears throat> Heather uh, got you. Okay, perfect. Walker Bueller, and there's Yamamoto. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate that. Sergeant Rock says, Happy Father's Day, Eric. You're a good man, sir. What's up, Heather? Sergeant Rock, thank you very much. Happy Father's Day to you as well, and thank you for being here. I uh, hope you are enjoying the break. There's Daddy Daughter with the link. For, uh, a mess of things has the link for Daddy Daughter. Make sure you check out his channel. All right, what else can we find for Bill? He's got one more autograph coming out of this. Let's see who it is. It is going to be, there's Jordan Alvarez rookie card. Get that one sleeved up. Nice stargazing judge and Tatis. Those are the judges numbered out of 100. And Daddy Daughter is saying, Sergeant Rock, do you have a channel that you would like us to put up there for support? If you want to drop that link in there and take out the youtube.com stuff, we can maybe try to track it down that way. Javi Baez is the last one there. Three more packs for William. Let's see what we can do for you. All right, so we have a autograph coming up. I see it upside down. It's after the Altuve. It is going to be good old Tyrone Taylor. The Altuve is out of 149. Tyrone Taylor, I made fun of this card earlier because I said he's so obscure that they only have one picture of him. Take a look again. Same exact picture on the front and back. Poor Tyrone Taylor. Not to make fun of you, man. Just uh, haven't heard of you ever. But maybe uh, maybe I will one day in the, in the show. We'll see. There's Chris Sale, Ronald Bolanos. We go through the rest of these for Bill. So the Manny Machado was the big hit out of this box. Brian Abreu, Mr. BL, out of 175. And the last one there is Sonny Gray. All right, so that's Bill's box. And we're down to two boxes left. Let's see what we can find for you. Spot number 50 is taken care of. Here's 51 and 52. And then we have that giveaway for that Devers autograph that we have to do as well. All right. So Random Rip says, thanks for giving me the closest thing to live sports jabs. Random Card Rips, thank you very much. Yeah, I guess, you know what? We're probably not going to have sports this year. It's looking more and more like that, unfortunately. So I guess this is the closest thing to sports that we get right now. All right, so Curtis W., Bobby Car Breaks. I'm not going to let that go because uh, otherwise I'll never be able to find anything at that Target ever again. Um, I'm planning to go to... I know where some good spots are, but I use those every month for my videos. I'm going to head out to a, a Walmart that's like an hour away soon for my next Walmart video, and hopefully they're stocked with lots of stuff. We'll see. 
All right, so Curtis, let's see what we can find for you now. Donald says, Happy Father's Day, everyone. Happy Father's Day to you as well. All right, spot 51 and 52. We have a nice Mike Trout. Jake says, don't go to North for sales. I never really go to North for sales unless I go to Rossi's, but I haven't been there in a long time. There's Mike Miner. That one is out of 25. Nice one. Very nice. And you may have a hot box here. Another hot box with all of these mustard and ketchup type, uh, I don't know what we're calling these, these uh, parallels are in each one. There's Cody Bellinger. That one is numbered out of 10. Four of 10. Jake, how was Rossi's yesterday? Do they have anything? I know they have a couple card dealers there. Um, the, the, the front booth is a lot better than the back booth, in my opinion. Rainbow Box, says Ryan. All right, so Curtis should have some autographs coming up soon for you. Let's see what we have in this stack. There's Spencer Turnbull. That one's out of 100. Autographs coming up right now. It is going to be Edgar Garcia. There we go. A mess of things. Did anyone else notice an odd pattern of similar names being paired in packs? Josh Harrison next to Harrison Bader and Patrick Corbin next to Corbin Burns. I didn't notice that. That's really interesting. You were very observant to see that. Uh, very interesting indeed. I'm too busy to kind of, I'm trying to like look at the chat and look at the cards at the same time. So that's something I would definitely miss. Triple B said you sent your Adley Rushman that, uh, that you pulled from the break. Hoping it's a 10. Yeah, man, that was a great pull uh, in Panini uh, Prism draft picks. Bobby Bleeds Blue pulled a beautiful-looking Adley Rushman auto. How do you find out the release dates of cards and packs? Gavin Lux, Lux get that one sleeved up. It is all online. Cardboard Connection has all that information. Mitchell says, hey, Jazz, my friends and I live about a half an hour away from you. Would you ever want to meet at the card shop in Robinson, PA? Is, is there a card shop in Robinson, PA? Let me know what it is. And is it good? I don't think I've ever been out that way for cards. What's the name of it? Um, my brother and I wanted to start going out to some card stores again soon. All right, so Curtis, here's your next one. Let's see what auto can join your Edgar Garcia. Here we go. It's Willie Adames. That is a nice one right there. Willie Adames, nice young uh, future star for the Tampa Bay Rays. What's the best hit of the night, asked James. Well, we had a lot of nice hits. We had Luis Robert, rookie auto. We had three Bichettes, I think, and three uh, Gavin Lux, Bellinger, Glaber. White Oak has a nice card job. Yeah, that one is uh, still City. That's out of 125. Got a hot box here of all the parallels coming your way. Josh Bell, that's not numbered. Trent Grissom, Miguel Snow. Uh, Cooper's is looking up mystery boxes on eBay. There's a not, now on deck Luis Robert. Not a base card, it's an insert card. Still nice. Let's get it sleeved up anyway, even though it's not technically his rookie card. All right, so Curtis, you got one more autograph coming your way. Let's see who it is. When is the giveaway? Ask Red Sox Collector very soon. Uh, we got one more box that was paid for, and then that's it. Mitchell, maybe. I would definitely consider it, for sure. Just got to start cleaning up some wrappers, so there's when I go to put my computer on the screen, there's not an ugly background of, like, a bunch of pack wrappers laying all over the place. All right, Curtis, let's see what we can find for you in your last stack. Marcus Stroman out of 175. There we go. Zach Gallon out of 25. Nice low number right there. That one is a nice one. Zach Gallon parallel. Very, very nice. The rest of these, we'll go through and just check them out, see if there's any big time rookie cards or parallels. There's a, like someone asking for Acuna. There's an Acuna parallel right there. Have I ever found any Bowman Mega Boxes at Target in Washington, PA? Um, no, I, I don't usually head that direction to uh, check out Targets, as there's kind of like a long stretch of nothing between where I live in Washington, PA. Uh, so I, I never really head out that way. There's a Nick Ahmed out of 60. I love that town, though. I went to college there. Uh, almost 
was thinking about settling down there uh, back in the day, but did not do so. So Curtis, thank you very much. Congrats on the Zach Gallen and Willie Adames. Very, very nice. And now we're down to our last box. I'll go back and check and see if anybody paid invoices late, which sometimes happens. Folks get preoccupied with other things and they forget that there's a break tonight and they don't pay their invoices. So right now, this is the last one for Cooper. There you are, Cooper. And Jack. Uh, Cooper was the last person to pay into the break, so he's got spot 54. I'm just going to log into my... Uh, PayPal right now and see if anybody else did pay and if not I'll just call this the last one of the night. T-Dog says I got a balance it's midnight there. Well thanks for stopping in. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bermuda. That's awesome. Um, let us know how it goes. Uh, hopefully you win some big time money down there in those tournaments those golf tournaments and I'm logging in logging in right now go to activity all right, so here we go. Jack and Cooper. Let's see what we have going on for you guys. Um, looks like Simon just paid a little bit late. So, Simon, you are in this break. I see Cooper paid. Then I got Ray Victor for Big League. And then Chris for 2011 update. And then Clem paid his Big League. Then Simon Castaneda, you will be coming up as well. So, we got you. We have this box and half of another one. So here we go. Let's see what we can find for you right now. Spots 53 and 54, and then Simon Castaneda getting the next half. Patrick Glenn is here. What's up, man? We got a box and a half left, then we'll do the giveaway. So, Jack, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Got six packs over there, six packs over there. Let's see what we can find for you guys. Jack's up first. Here's your three packs. Mitchell said, I played college baseball at West Liberty, and we always played at the Wild Thing Stadium. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that stadium. Well, that just opened when I was in school there. I think uh, my first year there, uh, all of our games were at a – stadium in the in the town it was, it was like almost like a little fenway park had a big fence in left field there's jack flaherty at 149 mauricio dubon you also have a hit jack it's out of 99 and mess of things says i need votes on uh which one wednesday video so i can film tonight a mess of things help them out guys make sure you got get on over there or, or let them know what your votes are for like that one mauricio dubon uh yeah i was a w and j president noah for four years. Graduated from there. Howie Kendrick, Garrett Cole read. No number on that one. Let's see what else we can find. The bonus box we're going to do on uh, tomorrow. We're going to do the finest box tonight and also the last mystery box Monday. All right. So how do you get, how do you get so many subs, says Packrat? Well, I've been doing YouTube videos since 2016. And I've made 1,200, 1,300 videos. So... That's mostly why, um, just a whole lot of content that I've made. You'll get there, just um, keep making. No, WMV Maniac could not play baseball there, unfortunately. I, I should have tried out, maybe try to be a walk-on player, but I didn't. Still played ball throughout college, just not for the school. All right, so here we go. Jack, your last stack. Let's see if you can find another autograph or if the other one's going to go to Cooper. You have the Bo Bichette. So our, is that our fourth Bo Bichette tonight? Wow, it's a low number too. Jack, congratulations. It's out of 15. How about that one? A cracked ice Bo Bichette. Very, very nice. Uh, what is, is there any of these on eBay right now out of 15? Let me know what this goes for. Probably maybe a couple hundred dollars. Daddy Dar says that is a nice one too. Big time hit right there. 11 of 15. Very, very nice. Adrian Ortiz says that's a $2,000 card. Uh, Heather's not here. So I have to go grab a one touch. My Elliot says $200. I was thinking around two to $300. One's on there for 55 Still a nice one. The Panini Autos, always a little bit less than the Topps Autos. I would probably put that right around $200 off the top of my head. Cracked Ice is fire. If it was a $2,000 card, I was going to just get up and leave. 
and go find a one touch. I have another case um, in off center, but still nice. I don't know if his autograph out of 99 Juan Soto. Get that one sleeved up as well. So, Jack, a big time hit right there. A mess of things says the new Cedric Mullins. Bo Bichette, the new Cedric Mullins. Maybe that would be something, right? If there's Bo Bichette coming out of all of these different breaks, I would love that. Uh, very, very nice. Bo Bichette. So, Jack found two of the autos. That leaves one for Cooper. Let's see what we can find for Cooper. And then we'll go to our last box of the night that we have paid for. Very, very nice, Bo Bichette. All right, Cooper, you're up, man. Elliot says, poor Cooper. Well, let's see what he has coming his way. Can't get this next pack open. Must be, uh, must be, yeah, it's the end of the break, so the fingers are a little tired, I guess. Or that pack was just being a bit persnickety. All right, so here we go, Coopers. Here's your three. We'll do three and three like we've been doing. All right, so we have Mauricio Dubon and Patrick Sandoval. That one's out of 60. The Sandoval is your auto, so it is a nice prism auto. It's not a Bichette, but still a nice one. Do I recommend big league boxes? There's a nice Jordan Alvarez will get sleeved up. I've only opened one, so I like the design. Nate's breaks and unboxing says another great break. Pray tomorrow goes well. Thanks, man. I appreciate the support. Jonathan Gray, that is the like case hitting there. We've only found three of those so far. So very, very nice. Um, Jonathan Gray got that tiger stripe. There's Nate's breaks and unboxing. If you'd like to check his channel, Daddy Daughter's got the link right there for you guys. We've got Willie Castro. That one's out of 100. So some nice parallel cards to go with your Jesus Lasardo is going to go in a sleeve. Patrick Sandoval. So three more packs for you, Cooper, and then we have one more box to go. What's your next break that still has spots open? Daniel, um, Big League is still filling, if you'd like to get in on that. Uh, I'm still going to buy the entire box. So... You'll get all the packs from the box. And also, there's some spots left for 2011 Tops Update. Not many, but there's still some. I put that for sale, I think, like a day and a half ago. Um, 124 total spots. We're into the 90s in terms of total sales on that one. So there's a Bo Bichette rookie card. We'll get that one sleeved on up. Jonathan VR out of 125. We got Clayton Kershaw, Rendon. There's Trey Turner. How do I get in on these? I just saw pop up there. Well, Daniel, I sell these on my Patreon page. You have to become a member over there. It's $3 per month. $0.10 cents a day is the cheapest tier that you can sign up for and still have access to all the breaks. And then when I post a break, all you have to do is leave your PayPal email address as a comment in that posting. And I will um, simply send you an invoice. Uh, Mess of Things will, says, will John be in on Thursday? All hands on deck. That's going to be a crazy break for sure. I don't know. I haven't seen him in here in a long time. Uh, he he may, he may be in here. He may not be. We'll see. Uh, we might have to... I don't know. Maybe... Uh, I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? Maybe mod a new moderator. Here we go. Last box. This one was... Um, purchased after the break started by uh, Simon who paid his spot a little bit late but not too late that we could still get him in there Simon Castaneda has spot number oh what is this Simon this is spot number 55 if anybody wants to split the half box with Simon you can take the other spot it's 99 bucks all right so here we go for Simon Mitchell says, I need me a Jabs and Heather dual auto out of one of one. That would be kind of cool. I don't know if Heather's still listening in, if she'd want to sign an, an autograph with me. But Simon, you got the first six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then these six we'll just put back in the box. Anoint, that's a good word right there. All right, Simon, let's see who we've got for you. Are you in here right now, Simon? 
if you are, let us know. Um, because if you get stiffed by only getting one auto, I will give you first dibs if you'd like to buy the second half of the box. We'll see. You got a Jordan Alvarez on the back of that pack, though. And Nomad FPV. Thank you, man. Nomad just became a new channel member. Appreciate the support. There's Josh Hader back when he played with the 93 Marlins. Just kidding. I think that's a ridiculous choice of a picture. So here we go. Last spot of the break, unless somebody wants the other one. And you have the autograph of Dustin May right off the top. Dustin May autograph. Nice one right there. Dustin May. Rookie card auto. So, Simon, good thing that you paid that invoice. That's a doozy. Um, probably like a $40 to $50 card, maybe. I love that one. Prism Auto. There's Jordan Alvarez. Get that one sleeved up. So, so far, your spot is off to some a good start here. Let's see if you have another autograph coming your way. Mario says, what comes with a $300 a month tier? Well, you get to uh, get a 10% discount on any break. So, for example, this was, what, $299, $200 a box. We'll say, so you get $20 off uh, if you bought this box. There's C.D. Sakino. Blue is a nice one. You get an old wax box sent to you each month from, I don't know, the 80s or 90s. You get a new wax box sent to you each month, and I'll be contacting the $300 folks, asking them which box they want. I've got a couple set aside of Diamond Kings for you guys. I've got a couple set aside of Pro Debut. Um, what else? I'll set aside a couple Clearly Authentic for you guys. I'll set aside a couple Series 2. And uh, you guys, let me just know which one you guys want. I put a blaster box in there. I put a baseball in there. Uh, I put some packs in there. I put a fat pack or hanger box in there as well. Here's Simon's last stack. Usually I have, it takes about, I have to use a large flat rate box to get all that stuff in there. Brandon Lau. And you have another autograph out of 149. Brandon Lau, Josh Naylor is the second hit. So second hit. You have Moncada, Vlad, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Jake Rogers, Lorenzo Kane. We got Michael King, rookie card. Nolan Jones, AJ Puck, Tyler Glass now. We've got Kirby Yates, Jordan Yamamoto. That one's numbered out of 175. And we have Jean-Carlo Stanton. Hey, there's Eric Peterson. Says, hey, Eric, missed most of the live stream, but saw my packs. Thank you. Awesome. Bo Auto. Eric Peterson, thank you very much for the support. Congratulations on that Bo Auto. We pulled, I think, three or four Bo Bichette autographs. Uh, very, very excited about that. And three Gavin Lux. Lots of good autos tonight. That's the last one. I don't think anybody uh, um, paid for their this last spot. One autograph is in there. So what I'll probably do if nobody buys that is I will probably just take this for myself and rip them. Maybe I'll throw them in a random hobby pack opening. Or maybe I'll just use them as giveaways. I don't exactly know, but I'll think of something to do with them. Um, put that aside. And now it's time to do a giveaway of our own. So on our way out the door, I'm going to do two giveaways. The first one is going to be a Top's Finest Box giveaway. Let me go ahead and slide my computer over here. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to bring up my YouTube channel. Just give me a second to log in and get situated. You have to be subscribed to my page or my you know, my my YouTube page to be eligible. You have to have your settings on public. If you haven't done that already, you have to be public. And there's a little icon that comes up in the comment section if you are a public, uh, publicly subscribed person. So let me go to my YouTube studio page and then we'll get this all ready to go. It should only take a minute. I already have the comment pickers all set up. Let me go to my comment section. All right, so there we go. Uh, all right, so here we go. We're gonna hit the lights. Otherwise, there's a nasty glare. That's what it looks like if there's no lights. Uh, I've got these big bright lights in the background. Here's the computer sliding over right now. All right, so here we go. So first up, we are doing the Devers. This is for the Raphael Devers giveaway. 
There's the comment picker. Paste the link here. I thought I already did that. Um, okay, give me a second. Let's instead do the Mickey Mantle stuff first. Mickey Mantle comic and uh, Phillies postcards from the 50s. Here we go. We'll do this one first. It's going to load all the comments. I'll go back and do the Devers one here in a second. Just I thought that I'd drop the link in there, but I guess I didn't. This is for the mantle. So what's going to happen is it's going to pick a winner. And there's, there's a mantle comic and also some postcards that were sent to me by a mystery box uh, supplier. And I said I'd just give them away to you guys. So the winner of those is going to be Zach, Zach D. So what I'm going to do here is search Zach's name. Got to go to my channel comments. Just t type in his last name there. And let's see here. Um, no comments found with that. So let's try this again. Zach. See how I can see how like Mr. J's is, has been a publicly subscribed person for six months. Let's try this again. Maybe I spelled his last name wrong. Um, Zach. Uh, I don't see that. Why is that not coming up? The Craker six box. So what I'm gonna do is try looks looks look for the number six. This is why I do the giveaways at the end. Someone saying there he is. Zach is publicly subscribed for a year. So Zach, thank you very much for being publicly subscribed. You just won the mantle. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send you some instructions right now. So you won the mantle plus postcards. Please send me an email to claim. All right, so there we go. First giveaway done. Now give me a second. I got to go back to uh, back to my main page here and grab the link of finest again. And um, I, I'm not. I'm just going to keep it pointed down. Otherwise, you see all like the analytics and stuff. Um, you'll see. Some red down arrows for views. I guess I can show you. Can I show you that? I don't know. I, I know you're not allowed to, to sh really share the analytics that much. Views the last 28 days, 1.1 million down 6%. Looks like um, I'm slipping a little bit, guys. Got to pick, pick up the game a little bit. So here we go. Let's see. Um, where is this at? Finest box. Get shareable link for you guys. All right, so Heather, if you were here, this would all be so much easier. Just kidding. Uh, no, I'm not kidding. It would be easier. You make everything easier. All right, so here we go. I think we're ready. Of course, now I accidentally clicked out of my YouTube page. Let me sign back in. Hey, there's Heather. Heather's still here. Man, Heather, I miss you. All right, so here we go. Back to the comment section. I'm just giving you a play-by-play -play what's going on. This is why I always do these uh, giveaways at the very end. Otherwise, it would be kind of tedious for those of you that don't really care to have a, a winner. But anyway, here we go. We're back. The winner of the Raphael Devers autograph and those cards from my finest box is going to be... Let's see here. There's 863 unique commenters. And the winner, hopefully they're publicly sub uh, subscribed. We will see. It is going to be Morgan Shanks. Morgan Shanks. I'm a Yankees fan, and I've even got to admit that Devers Auto is a nice card. Heather says I had a super chat. Heather, thank you for letting me know. Sorry that I missed it. Cooper Manning says, when's the next break? Cooper, thank you, man. Next break is tomorrow. Tops Big League. Uh, I've got four cases. That's 80 boxes, so lots of boxes are still available. Uh, if you want to participate in that, you can head on over to the Patreon page and sign up for that right now. Let's see if Morgan is publicly subscribed. Shanks. Um, Morgan Shanks is publicly subscribed and has been so for seven months. So thank you very much, Morgan. I'm going to send you some directions right now on how to claim that prize. And um, that is going to do it. For those of you that didn't get in or didn't win that giveaway, I'll try to do a lot more so you guys can have a shot at winning some stuff. And uh, just make sure that you're subscribed and comment, and I will keep the giveaways rolling in. Um, 
as much as I can. So thank you very much for being here. That is it for tonight. I hope you guys had a great Father's Day. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow for Tom's Big League. And then Wednesday will be Clearly Authentic, which is due out on that day. And then Thursday is the big day, 7.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the 2011 Tufts Update Jumbo Box Break. Looking for Mike Trout. So have a great rest of your evening. Hope you had a great Father's Day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.